Shout out to everybody on the panel. Make sure you guys go to badboymembership.com. And uh, yeah, that's that's what it is. And real game, no theory. Make sure you guys go there and check out everything. All right. So that's. All right, guys, T.D. D. Williams, over 30 years in the motherfucking game. I'm not a part of a Manosphere pill and all that other goofy ass shit they doing. So let's get it, guys. Y'all got a question, put a Q in there. If y'all want to call in, y'all got the number. We're going to chop it up. Let's get into it right now, gentlemen. Okay, we talk. Real quick, so uh, holla at your boy KZAC and Twenty on, on the YouTube front, also on, on the gram at KZAC and Twenty. Also, every Saturday at noon, the Manhood is a skill set show. Come fuck with your. But uh, my name is Mister Nineteen Fifty. Um, you know. I'm, I'm preparing you to prepare your woman to be a woman. Be Woo. a woman in your life. Uh, I am the last traditional man on the planet, and all I want to do is help you out. You can you can definitely contact me, Mr1950.com, uh, Mr1950 YouTube, Silverback Lifestyle, Instagram. Um, just follow me, man. I mean, let's rock. Yo, yo, what's going on? Uh, it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Um, shout out to the Bad Boy membership. Shout out to the Game Kings documentary. Uh, respect to everybody on the panel. I really appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate being here with you guys. Um, let's spit this game because we know these guys need it. you deal with ain't gonna be a one night stand or they ain't gonna be like on the first night and and that that's understanding the game too because if you out here doing your thing you know it ain't gonna always happen that way but a lot of times and, and this is where we talk about you guys gotta you know uh, uh use your resources to, under, to to learn more game and understand this is that when you're out here really dealing with women right you're going to experience certain things that's going to give you a whole new mindset of what it actually means to deal with women mm-hmm. Man, how you miss the opportunity, dog? Yo, didn't she say I'm going to him to tell us the name? She ready. She ready. Oh my God, what's name? She sounded like she wanted him to. She wanted him to say some nasty shit. He got to He got to call her back and tell her, look. Hey, look, so I, I, you know, I've been doing this in the past for a long time. When you come over here, I need you to come over here and I need you to wear this. And you tell her what you want her to wear yep. and let her know when you get here and ain't going to be no talking. We're not talking. All we doing is enjoying each other. Mm-hmm. It's like, why the fuck are y'all in these goddamn boyfriend, girlfriend relationships? What benefit is it bringing to you? Now, my thing is, like with the dude that was on earlier that had a chick living with him, she brought no value to that motherfucker. Mm. And all she cooked was some sloppy joe and some ramen noodles. So but he could do that by himself. What she what he need that bitch good. for? Stop, 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 stop. You see, you see what see what's happening right here? What's happening right here is you're you're letting you're letting your ego like fall in place with your dick. You can't do that. You you have to separate you have to separate that shit. You understand? Enjoy your enjoy your time with these women and then leave it where it leave it exactly where it is. Because Since the fall of 
the PUA community back in 2007, most PUAs went underground because they had nothing to offer. The content creator has become the hero today, dedicated to one single objective, to declaw and defang any person who listens. They decided to join forces to create a cult and never giving those who listen a solution. It's all about clothes, cars and money. Deception and manipulation. Indirect game. Going your own way. They talk pills and plates. They complain. They blame. Fake it till you make it. I just don't get it. A man doesn't need to lie to meet women. He just needs to learn how to spit flavor in her eyes and in her ears. Thanos broke down the game when he said, as long as there are those who remember what was, there will always be those who cannot accept what can be. Even in darkness, a man can find light. Sometimes the world doesn't need a group of fake heroes teaching lies. Sometimes the world needs a group of anti-heroes to bring balance, order and truth to the game. It's time to summon the authentic players of the game. Only one group dares to challenge this threat. Gathered together from the cosmic regions of the streets, these anti-villains are hated because they put all the accountability on the man. They know the game will never be about women. They fight for every young man who is trying to learn their family name. Dedicated to truth, keeping it real and manhood. Get your notebooks out, ask questions and call in. Don't just listen to the message, become the message. Huh. Oh shit, we got a good one today. <laughs> hey, what's up, fellas? Let's go around the room because we got a lot to discuss today. You know, we started from the bottom up. The first one is in the room and shit. Miles, yeah. got yeah. it, man. <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Shout out to the panel. You know what I'm saying? The fellas is out to give y'all the game. Nigga, this is this is church, baby. This is this is what we're doing on Sunday, cause this is church. After you after you done hearing all that make believe that you could come get the real shit. You feel me? <laughs> nah, I ain't trying to disrespect nobody. But um, let's get this game, man. I'm happy to be here. Let's go. All right, guys. Stevie D. Williams, man, mindset.com, riding on the show. Take guys, get your crayons out. It's gonna be a good one. Lucario. What up, what up, what up? What's going on? What's going on? What's popping? He texting a bitch. You see his head was down with. I don't do all that game stuff you guys do. I, uh, Mr. Lucario, we're, uh, we're going to need you to pay attention in class. Uh, class is in session. All you dating coaches with your fucking scams and shit. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. But, uh, but nah, shout out to um, sh- to everybody tuning in, man. Uh, appreciate you guys coming in. Shout out to the moderator. Shout out to April MC in the building. Shout out to Unique 79. Shout out to uh, True Savage, Joe Blast, uh, everybody else up in there. Man, we, we appreciate y'all and shout out to everybody on the panel. So let's let's uh, go in. Let's get it. Fitty! Hey, hey. It's 1950. Hey, the last traditional man on the planet. Hey, man, shout out to those those guys, I don't know what show that was, man, but I, I wanted to give a shout out to those bums. And, and 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 I'm glad they're tuning in right now. You're watching the winner's circle, and I'm so happy to be a part of the winning bunch. Getting ready, man. Let's get it on. Exactly. Well, this is a church. Go ahead and pass around the collection plate in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Don't be shy. Man, let's get it. As we always do about this time, I'm glad to be here with these esteemed gentlemen, giving y'all what y'all need to hear, not that other bullshit. Let's go. All right. All right. Hey, guys, get your crayons out. All right, man. We got a good show and uh, appreciate everybody in. Let's go ahead and hit the button why the show is about. You know, I think it was a look. Wait, was it? It was 1950 that uh, I grabbed this off of 1950 and I saw this. I was like, oh, we got to do something on this. Let me play this clip real quick and we're going to discuss. Check this out. I say it like this. If you can tell me what to do, Mm -hmm. then you can tell me what to do. 
But if you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I think that's like the only time a chick ever gave some hundred percent game. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I love it. Oh, yep. Hey. Yep, yep. So, yeah. so just just in case, my back. Go ahead. No, go. No, no I was gonna say just in case that went over a guy's head. Shit. That's a woman saying I put men in different categories. There mm. is a guy I would listen to, and mm. guys I won't. So what you guys need to understand, well, damn, because she's not the only woman that feels that way. She speaks for a lot of women. Mm -hmm. So what you have to say as a guy, if you're dealing with a woman who makes everything a challenge for you, you mm -hmm. always have difficulties, that means you're probably those guys that women just don't fucking listen to. <laughs> so what can you do to become a man that women actually listen to? All of us got channels dedicated to giving y'all the game on that. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Right. That's facts. And you know, I'll say this real quick uh, before we get into the calls, people already calling in. Uh, yeah. this, is, this is the thing. Um, when she's saying that, guys, you got to understand that it's about you becoming the type of guy that you want to be. So you got a choice. You got a choice whether or not you're going to be the guy who's going to be scared to give a woman directions, the type of guy who's going to be scared to let a woman know what it is, or you could be the type of guy that's not scared because you got that confidence in yourself to understand that a woman wants to listen to your directions and wants to cooperate with you. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's all that's really saying, because a lot of times we always hear guys say, oh, well, you know, she's not going to go for that. You that see what I'm saying? That whole line of she ain't going to go for that means you're the type of guy who don't believe women are going to listen to you and women are going to go for what you're saying. So yeah. that's why dudes are scared to, to literally, they're scared to tell women what it is, what they want, what they're about, what they're not about, what they're not going to tolerate. They're scared to do all of that stuff because they're like, oh, well, she ain't going to go for that. So I'm, they're basically saying I'm, I'm sort of like doing what I'm doing and, and living my life according to what she's going to go for, you know what I'm right. saying? which is ridiculous. But that, that's my thoughts on that shit. Um, I want to say real quick, <clears throat> there's the, you know, to go, to go with what she said, right. She said, if you can tell me what to do, then you can tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. But if you can't tell me what to do, then you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and it's, and it's, it, it goes back to the old, you know, uh, I guess, proverb or the old saying that says, look, whether you think you're right or you think you're wrong, mm -hmm. the bottom line is you're right. Right. You understand? So if you think so, if you think you, you should be following a chick, then follow that bitch. Mm hmm. But if you think you you need to be leading that bitch, then you better know how to fucking lead that bitch and lead that bitch right. <laughs> you understand? Because any one of us off this panel will come and take her from you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And if, if she's not be if you're not if you're not leading the situation, and you and you, you see and, and and here's a fucked up part too. There's a lot of guys out there that think they could tell a woman what to do. You see, mm -hmm. there's a difference between knowing and being one hundred percent sure, like as as. As as sure as you know your fucking name, <laughs> as sure as you know your name, you know yeah. you can lead a bitch. You can tell her exactly what to do, and she will do that shit. But you yeah. got a lot of mofo's out here. They think they think that they can uh, <laughs> tell a bitch what to do. Mm. You know, the, the little nigga in the Matrix told you, "Don't try to bend the spoon with your mind. That's impossible." <laughs> Only realize the truth that there is no spoon. You understand? So, 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 so look at this. Don't try to, don't try to uh, manipulate the bitch. Only realize the truth. It's not about the bitch. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Yes, Miles, absolutely right. Hey, Listen. man. Hey, and I wanted to say really, really, really quick. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I saw it the same way. I, I also saw that she's dealt with two types of men, and she mm. recognized those type of men. And I want men to understand that women know what man they're dealing with. And this is why she said it the way she said it. She knew, she knew what, what to say and how to say it. And, and, and I'm telling y'all men right now, if you don't take the horns and control the bull, you will be ran over straight up. Facts. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, from the moment I put my bid in to the moment I get rid of her, I'm in control. I, and from the moment I put my bid in to the moment I get rid of her, I trade her or I keep her around and put her on a practice squad. Ooh. I'm always in control. I will always be in control because the thing about these men on this panel, 
we're so much in like Miles said, it's not about the woman. It's about the control you have in yourself to be able to control her enough to tell her what to do. Because once I tell you what to do and you don't do it, you're gone. Mm. That's, that's it. You right. will, I would never be in that position. What say y'all, man? Facts. Nah, that's, uh, see, a, 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 woman's, a woman's reward. A woman's reward is our time. You understand? And, th and that includes everything that comes with our time. That yeah. includes dick. That includes game. Yeah. That shit. That includes like just leadership. Mm -hmm. that, that includes that includes the ability to smell our musk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so serious about that. I, I, I don't be laughing. We know you are. Dog. I'm laughing. We feel you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, bro, I'm, <laughs> bro I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just to, just to put. You know when you lay down and you put your arm around them and they nuzzle their nose right in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And they, and they they take a deep fucking breath. Yo, I've yo, I've had women in my life tell me that I'd be like, yo, I just came from the gym. She and then she started grabbing for my shorts. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> I told you I just came from the gym. She's like, nigga, ain't nothing like your sweaty balls. I need them right now with my mouth. And I'm like, Ain't there's 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 <laughs> nothing like an after gym tea bag. <laughs> And I want and I want niggas to understand. There's a lot of guys watching this right now that was that was probably like, and a lot of women too probably watching this talking about ew, what, what are they talking about? You see, we are on the other side of reality, my niggas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I said that shit, and everybody on the panel was like, Yeah, I remember when she did that. Shit. <laughs> you know everybody kind of started posturing, like, This yeah. is closing my life right now. Hold up, hold up. Let, let me calm down. Because we know what it is. Mm. We're the type of niggas that could tell a woman what to do. Mm. You understand? Know because I told y'all all the time, we are, they're always seeking our leadership. And the, and the reason, going to, back to what um, Steve just said, it's about the control you have over yourself. Right. The control you have over yourself puts her at ease. So when you say, hey, baby, I need you to do this, this, and this. She's like, okay, you got it, daddy. Mm -hmm. She sees that you're in control. Not necessarily in control of the world, because that's impossible, right? Mm -hmm. but, she, but you're in control of your world. Right. And she's a part of that world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't even... When you make a request, it's it's automatic. But, you know, y'all got it. I don't even like being called daddy no more, because they called a lot of a lot of men daddy. Call me dad. I'm I'm dad to them. Dad, okay. Different. <laughs> <laughs> but Zach, Zach, you're gonna say something. I was gonna say when you when you were talking about the the gym shorts, mm. instantly Biggie's song "I Got a Story to Tell" came up. I got, and I'm like, I got a story to tell, but I'm not I'm not gonna get into all that. I just wanted to say that when you said it, I'm like, nigga, I hear you. I I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. I, I will. May I testify? Yes. And yes. this is some real shit. Yes. Yes. And so let, let's go to this call real quick. Uh, eight one seven. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Uh, Jabril W with the four ninety nine super chat. He says thank you for the information. Nice. Eight nine seven. What's going on? Eight nine seven. Going once. Hey, what's going on? I mean, eight one seven. My bad. That's probably was, that was my that was my fault. <laughs> on, my, okay. I shot out the wrong fucking number. Go ahead. Eight one seven. Hey, um, I donated. Um, appreciate it, appreciate it. But I was wondering, I guess, I guess this is off topic. Uh, but how do you get? Um, uh, I'm I'm new, I'm new to this whole game stuff. But how do you get a single night lay? Like, how do you just approach a girl and then just see? And 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 I'm glad you, I'm glad you said that because I actually have a program on the Bad Boy membership called Same Day Lay. It teaches you how to fuck chicks on the same day. So, so okay. all you got to do. Is go to the Bad Boy membership and listen to that program. Bad, Badboymembership.com. Badboymembership.com. Exactly. And call, and call fact, There, There's a link. There's a link, um, caller. There's a link right now uh, at mm -hmm. 5, 513 by Joe Blast. There's a link. So go ahead and click that link. Oh, April just put it there. Bam. It, it'll take you right where you need to go. And caller, right. call, I'm going to tell you why you, are, you need to go and get game. Now, I'm going to ask you two questions. You ready? What is two plus two? Four. Okay, you answer that in about two seconds. Now, why don't you tell us why a woman should fuck you on day one? 
you need to get to the okay. You don't even ask. Don't even ask. Don't even ask. You already told us your answer right there. That's why you need to learn the game, bro. <laughs> All right, All right, cool. I'll jump on that membership. All right, my brother, check it out, man. Thanks, I'll, I'll add us. All right, peace, peace. Back. And let me say something about that real quick. I think a lot of times, like, you know what's funny about, about uh, guys asking questions like that is because some guys don't ask that question, but they're not in a position to really receive the answer yet. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I could tell you exactly what to do or what, what it is, but you're not really even ready for that, it's like somebody saying, like, because the thing is, a person could come up to you, or you could ask a question and say, "Yo, um, you know, how much, how much would it cost to invest in this business?" You know what I'm saying? And they looking at you laughing because they like, "Nigga, you, you can't even ask that question right now. You working at McDonald's, so you ain't got enough money to invest in this business." You understand what I'm saying? You're not at the level there. So that's why I tell you guys, get on the Bad Boy membership, go to the Man Mindset, hit up Mr. 1950, hit up K Zag and Manhood is a skill set because. This is why we do this, because we want you guys to level up so that when you want things like that to happen, you'll already be prepared for those things to happen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got you got to understand that shit. You, you know what it's like? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Steve. Real quick, I'm just saying, this is why we have this show today, because unfortunately for that young man, he won't be able to tell a woman what to do. Right. He won't be able to do that. So right. this is important. Go ahead, Zach. You got him. No, I was going to say, a lot of these guys, when they ask those questions, it's like a guy that's 25 years old, never played sports in his life, then he goes to an NFL tryout. Right. Oh, you, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's, like, he's like Shikari Richardson trying <laughs> to race with the... <laughs> he ain't, he ain't going to make it. It's one of those things where if you're asking how to, how to get a woman home the same night, you're so far behind that eight ball. Mm -hmm. Literally... You, you, you need to go get coaching from the ground up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because you're, you're concerned with just getting some quick pussy, but we got to teach you how to be a man and find out who you are first. Yeah. So that way you don't get yourself fucked up trying to get mm -hmm. no quick pussy. But there's a lot of guys that got hit over the head. They got they got their pockets ran. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They, they put a baby in a bitch, uh, mm -hmm. P.J. Washington. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? They did all types of fucked up shit behind just trying to get some pussy. So right. you know. <laughs> That's facts. That's facts. So, guys, if you want to call up, call the number is 516-371-224, 516-371-224. If you got a question, put a Q in the chat, and we'll answer your question and get that shit cracking. So, that yeah. call-in number. And don't try to call at the last minute because, again, y'all be calling right when we're about to end the show. So, y'all got time now. The call-in number is 516-387-1224. You feel what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Thank you going. So, back to the, the thing here. I mean, uh about you can't tell me what to do. I think a lot of guys are in that situation where they they can't tell a woman what to do. And that's mm -hmm. the struggle with that. Because, I mean, they, like they call her, he wants sex, right? He wants sex. But he won't even know even how to ask for it or to get her to want to give it to him. Mm -hmm. Right. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? And, and, that, and that's the thing. A lot of it is, are you that guy that can do that? And that's what women look at you as sometimes, too, because this is why when you're a guy who's nervous around women. You're the type of guy who is insecure. You, 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 this type of dude, this is why you attract women who basically run you because they're looking at this guy, like this guy, I could just play. I, I'm just playing with my food right now. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to just have them around just to, to buy me stuff, take me places, do all this, all these other crazy things. You know, if he's lucky, I might, I might let him sniff the pussy. If he's lucky, you feel what I'm saying? And right. then, and then the thing is, is that this guy, he doesn't have enough confidence. First of all, he's already starting from a place where even if that guy tried to tell her what to do, you understand what I'm saying? She look at this dude and laugh at him. You understand what I'm saying? Because she's like, come on, bro. You're not, you're not at that level. Like you're, you're just here for the time being until I find a man I really want to get with to get with. You feel what I'm saying? But that's what it is. But let's go to 703. 703, what's popping? Who this? Hey, this is Manny. I was just calling in because um it's odd because I be trying to I be feeling like when I get into a combo with a girl after our cold approach, things going good sometimes. What is cold approach, sir? What is that? What is a cold approach? Cold approach I hate to say that. <laughs> well, I, well, I explain. I don't know what it means. What does that mean? What's the difference between a cold approach and a hot approach? Well, what is that shit? What is that? <laughs> I guess I'd say hot approach in some way because. But what is it? What is a hot approach? Would you hit it with a hot pan? I mean, what is a hot approach? 
I'm not being funny. I don't understand. What is that? Shit? What is that shit? What is a cold or hot approach? Is there a lukewarm approach? What What is that? He can't even tell. Well, I think I got a. I don't got the best definition for that. Nah, as a man, you, you ain't got the definition. A, I'm using it. Real, real quick. As a man, you need to have your vocabulary right. Mm. You need to know what you're saying and what it means. Mm. That's a part of the game. That's a part of the game. All right. All right. Well, what I was trying to say is, like, I get turned off quick as shit just based off like some small shit that like blow the shit out of me. Like, I don't know, and it's not even uh not even like some shit like even my friend would be like you know you need to keep your calm because like i got a call it call it call it give, give, it, give it, an just, example call it give it thank example. you thank you. i was gonna say that man because you're mm. just rambling bro mm-hmm. hello call what, are you saying to the, what are you saying give us an example about you losing your cool i'd be saying uh I'd be saying something like, uh, I'd be driving, for example, and she says, I don't like how you drive. I have a chauffeur or some shit, right? And then after that, <laughs> she's like, I'm not your chauffeur. And then she, she she's trying to go on a back and forth with it. And then all of a sudden, like, off the top of my head, I, I can't even I can't even find an example. Off this, the top. this is a call this it, is a rough call. this is a rough call. Yeah, like, yeah, do, call do we have another? Do we have another caller card? Yeah, no, this, no, this, 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 right this nigga high. This nigga high, drunk or something, bro. You, you, you sound like either that. Or you just woke up and you ain't got your thoughts together. Uh, he just don't know what the fuck he doing. What What do you mean you're driving with the chick? Who's chauffeuring who? She just told me she got her pops. Uh, her pops a chauffeur. Uh, her pop got her a chauffeur. I don't like people who drive like this, for instance. And what did you do when she said uh, that? I can't, I, mean, I can't stand this. Shit. I know I can't. What did you do when she said that, sir? Um, I kept I kept my shit quiet. I ain't say nothing. No, I said, what did you do? I didn't say what you say. I said, what behavior did you give when she disrespected you that way? What did you do? Nothing. See, the problem is you're and you can't. What to do? I'd have pulled that car over and opened the door up and and then escorted her ass to yep. fuck all, all the freeway. See what people don't know what it is that call box on the freeway. <laughs> that's for real men, right there. Let me tell you, if your motherfucking ass is tripping on this freeway, I'm dropping you off at the call box straight up. Mm-hmm. This nigga fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make any sense, sir? Yeah, it makes sense. I'm just like, and I'm. I just like. I get confused and shit with the uh, with the small stuff like that. Yeah, like, well, why, why? Why are you confused? <laughs> why? Why are you confused? Uh, let, let me let me let me just say this, caller, because you 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 not. Oh my god, um, bro. At the end of the day, you come across as a, as a young man who doesn't know himself. Mm. Okay, and, and you still kind of find your way through the world. And then when you deal with women, you kind of go at a, as the women go. Like, I, I bet you you're not the same motherfucker from women to women. I bet you if you dealt with 10 women in one month, you 10 different dudes. You know what I'm saying? So at some point, you got to figure out who you are, what you're about, and you can't let... Everyone is watching, listen to this shit. Y'all be letting women who are strangers to y'all disrupt y'all. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? These women, y'all don't know these women that well. In essence, they are strangers. Y'all are letting a strange female get under your skin and get you beside yourself. Ain't nothing manly about that shit. Right, that's facts. So, caller, if you need some more help, man, hit us up realgamelowtheory.com. You feel me? But we appreciate the call. All right, so let's go to uh, 646. 646. I wanted to 646. 646 going once, going twice. All right, hey, so I wanted to say something real quick, too. Get the fuck out of here! Hey, hey, get the fuck out of here! Hey, pick your battles. Look, when 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 people say that, that is for women. Mm-hmm. That is never for a man, bro. We, we you don't tolerate any type of disrespect when it comes to your program. So for all you men, it'd be like, oh, just pick your battles. And no, you've been told that by some woman in order to numb you to their bullshit. You cannot allow 
bullshit to go on. And I don't care how minor it is. I'm ready for it. Mm. I'm ready for it every time. Right, right. But he was getting emotional over a uh, uh, a chick trying to holler at a chick, though. Is that what that's what you're saying? No, he, he he said he was driving with a girl, and the girl said she don't like the way he drive. And then they they had some back and forth bullshit. Oh my god! See, but but th- that that could have been easily resolved. Look, I could stop right here and, l- and let you the fuck out. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, that's easy. I could stop right here and let you the fuck out. Well, no, I'm just saying. No, don't say shit. Just be quiet for the rest of the ride. Yeah. Well, okay? I, I like I like this one too. I always say, "Who are you talking to?" <laughs> who are you talking to and then they then they they got 20 seconds to check that behavior real quick mm-hmm. like, what do you mean who are you talking to they they right. be like you know but never mind you you're damn right right <laughs> yeah. so, so guys the call the number 516-387-1224 516-387-1224 is the number if you got a question put a cue in the chat and then uh, we'll answer your question from the chat. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, you, oh, you know what? But it, but the thing is, she should know what kind of motherfucker you are before she even gets in that car door. Right? Mm-hmm. You should know that you the kind of motherfucker that if she get out of her ticket. Because, see, the problem with most women, they think the guys on this panel are like the, the rest of you human-ass motherfuckers. They, they think they could do that shit with us. We don't play that shit. I don't know why they think we don't play. We right. Do. Right. That's real talk. So shout out to Jabril W with the 499 Super Chat. He says, how do I gauge what aspect of game I need to work harder uh, to comprehend? What, what does he mean by that? He means he has to work on everything. <laughs> yeah, work on everything, brother. Everything. Yeah, there, there's, I mean, there's no such, there's, I mean, there's different aspects of the game, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not something that stops because because when we say game, we talk about the game, the game of life, like every the whole thing. Yes. The whole right. thing. How how you see yourself, how you live, how you take care of yourself. And you have to keep up on everything at all times. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it, it so it's the same thing with a, with 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 the the video from the beginning. You know, if if you can tell me what to do, then tell me what to do. If you can't tell me what to do, then you then you can't tell me what to do. And that goes back to how, and that's why we, we tell you guys it's not about the woman. Mm. It's about you. Because believe it or not, like I said, they're looking at you for leadership. But other than that, they're they're literally looking at you and saying, Well, what's the quality of your life like? Right. Mm. Saying, what are you doing? You mm. understand? Like, is it is your finances together? What's your credit score? Where do you live? Like, you know, are you are you up on your payments with your car note and all this type of shit? Because how you how you gonna try to tell a woman what to do if your shit ain't on point? You understand, especially when she's looking to you for leadership, right? You feel me? So it, it, you know, what? How do I gauge what aspect of the game you need, bro? As you work on all aspects of the game, the 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 truth will will reveal itself, right? You know what? You know it's funny. Uh, Facts. I like that one. Guys, Facts. Yeah, a lot of times guys be looking at game like like they're picking and choosing one thing to do over the other, right? You know what I'm saying, but it's everything. It's like it's just like for, like a car. You don't say, well, um, I got I got the steering wheel. And the car, but there's no engine. Or I got the engine, but there's no no wheels and no. You know what I mean? It's like you need the the wheels, the steering wheel, the fucking engine. You know what I'm saying? You need all the, the the parts for this shit to work correctly. You see what I'm saying? So it's the same thing when it comes to to game. It's like you know you have guys out there who's like thinking, okay, everything is about looks. It's like, all right, cool, you look good, but then now a chick wants to talk to you, but you don't know how to talk, so now she don't want to fuck with you. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like. Is certain things that dudes got to understand that it's it's you got to be well rounded in this. You understand? If you're not well rounded, that's when you're gonna really fall off, and shit's not gonna go the way you expect it to go. You see what I'm saying? So that's real shit. That's real shit. Any any more any more questions in the uh, chat? Yeah. So we need yeah. So if you guys have any questions, put a cue in the chat. And let's go to uh, nine seven three. For the, we, we, uh, we do have a super chat though. Yeah. yeah after yeah, his, yeah, I'll grab that. Yeah. 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 That's Jabril. That's Jabril. That's, that's me. I'll ask my question. I just wanted to know how do I gauge what aspect of the game I need to work hard to comprehend. Did you just not hear what we just said, brother? <laughs> brother, brother, did you not just listen to what we just said? Nah, I, when okay. I called uh, zone so I ain't hear nothing. Right. So, so okay. So let me ask you this: what, what, what are you specifically asking though? Like, it, like break down what you're asking, so we could we could accurately, you know, what I'm saying, respond to you. All right. So if I was bodybuilding, I wanted to get big arms. I know to focus on that, but um, I'm still learning the game, so I don't know how to exactly define where I'm at 
Well, then you're not learning any. You're, what you could, what you, okay, here's the problem, bro. What you think you're learning is not game. You're, they're, they're, you're not learning game. Are you under the bad boy membership? Yes or no? No. Are you under the man mindset? Yes or no? No. Do 19, it! 1950, yes or no? No. Do it! Hey, Zagging, yes or no? Uh, no. Do it! Do you listen to Red Pill content? Uh, Be honest. Just say yes. I listen to Kevin Samuels, Coach Greg. Okay, Dude, I, I, don't ask, I didn't ask names. I just asked you yes or no. Do you listen to that content? You said yes. So you don't know game at all. You, you, what you think you're in is not what you think you should be. You don't know anything about the game because if you knew game, you wouldn't be listening to a lot of things you listen to right now, sir. Okay. Right, because this is the thing. Because the first, because what you're, because this is why I asked about specifics. Because, um, what you're, what you're asking is, is like you saying, okay, what do I do to build my arms up, right? So, okay, right, now you, right. now you have big arms, but because you have big arms, let's say you have a a, a girl who's attracted to your big arms, right? But now mm -hmm. she, she's right. checking you out, and let's say she's giving you the choosing signals that as, as guys like to to talk about, right? Now, what are you what are you gonna do right. when that happens? She gave me the choosing signals. If I want to accept, mm -hmm. I go on approach. Okay, and then what? What are you going to say to her when you're approaching her? Depending on where we get, how we feeling. If I'm in the VIP section, she pull up on me. I'm gonna try to say, excuse me. I'm gonna say something about her body, about like her. Yo, <laughs> I love the way you look. It's somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and so this this is what I'm trying to explain to you is that. It's not about it's not just about the big arms. You understand what I'm saying? It's about everything, because if you do go in to talk to her, you still need to know how to interact with her in order to be attractive to that woman. You see what I'm saying? And then what happens is what if you like a girl who don't give a fuck about big arms? You understand what right. I'm saying? What if you what if you want to interact? Right. What do you see what I'm saying? Like, so so what I'm saying yeah. is, is that overall you need to be able to understand what you're doing with also with what you got and and even not worry about what you don't got in order to make something happen. You see what I'm saying? Because, again, a wait, lot of times. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can, can you repeat that one more time? Repeat that one more time. Please. You go back and listen to the, the link at, at the 30, 35 minute mark, brother, because no, bro, all I'm saying is, is that you have to be well rounded. That's all I'm saying, because okay. what I'm trying to what I'm trying to explain to you is and this is what a lot of guys who don't understand game think about because they don't understand mm -hmm. women. They're thinking about it in the sense of how does a you're looking at it from your male perspective. So you're like, well, I would like a girl who just looks great. Right. So I got to look as good as I can to get girls right now. Looking good can help right. you can assist you and help you with that. But what I'm saying is, is that you're 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 not going to really get the most benefit out of the game unless you know how to be well rounded in the situation. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Because what you what you have right. to understand is this is that. You know, it's like, OK, let's say let's say, for example, you know how to do karate, which is cool. You can do karate. It's, but what, it's what like is this? It's like being a being a parent and you having a toddler and your toddler doesn't have the eyes to see danger, but you have the eyes to see danger. So you want to teach them. So as a child, is, is, am, am, I, am, am I on the right page with you right now? No, no. What I'm saying is, no, this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is. You got to know how to be well-rounded just in general. So like, like this was an example I'm going to give you. Like what I'm saying is if you know karate, right, that's cool. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because you might be in a situation where karate can help you. But when you're in a situation where karate doesn't help you and you're in a gunfight, you're going to know how to, you need, mm -hmm. you're going to need to know how to shoot a gun. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And so, and so you can't rely right. on just karate for all situations to help you out. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Let me, let me, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, KZ. Right, no, let me say this, Carla. Think about it like this. Let's go back to what Jill Scott said. If you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. Having big arms mm -hmm. is not going to put you in a position for a woman to submit to you. Right. Okay. Having money is not going to put you in a position for a woman to submit to you. When she's talking about you can't tell me what to do, because of course, as we all alluded to, she's referring to the man that actually can tell her what to do uh, versus the one who can't. That comes down to the type of man you are. Your behavior. See, a lot of guys when they when they talk about trying to improve themselves, it's always something on the outside. It's always some manufacturer shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, if you don't approve your behaviors, who you are, the way you think, your mentality, the way you interact with women, the way you talk to women, if you don't improve yeah. that aspect of who you are, none of that outside shit is really going to uh, work for you. Now, you can get a, uh, a nicer body, bigger arms, and more women will look at you. They'll notice you walking around. They'll notice you. And then yeah, now because they notice you and they're gawking at you, that might compel you and give you the false confidence to walk up there and start talking to them. But once you start getting rejected, you're going to be that same motherfucker that you were before you got the big arms. Just a shell of yourself. Correct. Correct. All right. So you, do you, do you yeah, no, nah, I got it. All right. So you understand what we're nah, saying? No, nah, I got it. Unless, unless I got something else, man, I got it, man. Thank you. Hey, man. Hey, man. Real quick. So do you think the game is about women? No. The game isn't about the game is about people. I yeah, no, nah, the game is about people. So, Wait, so people, people. I don't understand. See, the reason why I asked you that is because when you talk about muscles, right? A lot of men work out not for their oh, own was, health, but they work out because they think that women if want, want them. Give, what does it mean, people? What no, no, mean? no. I was using that as a. I was using that as an example. If I wanted okay. to get the arms, I go to the gym and work out. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, okay. I, I only brought that up if the, if if it changed the knowledge about the drop. But no, it, so the game the game is about you. You. Mm. Everything about the game is about you. Always. Everything. Everything. Mm. Everything. Everything, caller. Everything. <laughs> and see, that's why we're telling you, bro, is that you got to focus on you as a whole. That's what we're trying to say. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're saying, what what part of the game do I need to, you know, fix to get? You understand what I'm saying? It's just you overall. You understand what I'm saying? Because again, like mm -hmm. Miles was saying, is that things things are going to fall into place, and you're gonna you're gonna recognize and notice. The things that are falling into place. See, the problem with a lot of guys, the reason why sometimes it's hard for y'all to understand is because you're not at mm -hmm. the level yet to see why the things are falling into place. You understand what I'm saying? You're not, you don't have the certain mindset yeah. yet. You see what I'm saying? So once you have a certain mindset, yeah. then the things that you need to do to, to get where you want to go is going to reveal itself to you. And then that's what's going to make things easier for you to make shit to, to get stuff done. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times the questions guys yes. ask <laughs> is because of an experience. You see what I'm saying? And then once you go out there right. and gain the experience, the, the answers to the questions you're asking is going to reveal itself to you. That's what we're trying to say. But that means you have to focus on mm -hmm. you and focus on yourself and focus on what you're trying to do and, and, and not focus too much on just, you know, focus too much on what the women are trying to do and all of that, because that's when you make it about the women and then you're not focused on what the important thing, which is yourself. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, no, that definitely broke it down even better for me. All right. All right, man. We appreciate the call, my brother. Let's All right. Real quick before we go into the call right here. Uh, he says that he's in debt, living with his roommate, working on minimum wage, uh, you know, full-time job in New York. He's 25. I don't know whether to leave the game alone or keep – brother, you're not – why do y'all – I don't understand. Why do y'all think you're in a game? This is a. This is not a game question. It's a responsibility question. This has nothing to do with the game. It's the fact that you're an irresponsible motherfucker that can't manage your money. Or you need to work an extra job or get your fucking ass in the army question. And yep. and you're and you're only 25, bro. Like, come on, man. That, I mean, your life is just beginning, man. You 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 can bounce back from that. Shit. Um, really, really easy. And you're talking about giving the game up. Uh, let me just say this: a part of the game is understanding that the the resource is you mm -hmm. meaning right. meaning you can get somebody to get you out of debt <laughs> you can you can get somebody also uh to get you a nice place mm -hmm. you you can get all those things <laughs> if you knew okay. the game mm -hmm. <laughs> so i'm just letting you know you don't know the game yeah. but you you said you said giving up or <laughs> giving yeah. up the game like you ain't you ain't had the game cuz you wouldn't be in that position mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. he thinks the game is all about pussy. See, mm -hmm. and this how you all these dudes that say yeah. that, all these dudes, all of them that say, man, you know, you gotta focus on your money, you can't be dealing with these women because you're thinking about pussy. Mm -hmm. you know what, I'm See, what, what, what Mr. 1950 said, one of a lot of niggas' heads, if you have some game, you can 
get someone to help you get into a better situation. <laughs> if you wasn't so focused on a pussy, you would know what the fuck he means. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I want to say the part the part where he says uh, whether to leave the game alone. Um, you you would have to be you know playing the game or you. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Um and uh, and another way to take that is, you know, like like I said guys, we're talking about your life here. Right. That's what a lot of you motherfuckers don't understand. Yeah, even with the with the last caller, you're trying to compart compartmentalize this shit. Mm. Like, oh, well I could work on my mouthpiece, but my you know, but my fuck game, that ain't got to be nothing as long as my mouthpiece good. Or, or I could I could work out and make my arms big, but I ain't got to pay my rent and I could go into debt. Like we just told you, everything has to be working together. You understand what I'm saying? So since we're talking about all the responsibilities of life and being a man, when you say that you're trying to give the game up, my next thing to you is, listen, I need you to go on Google and find out the suicide hotlines in your town and call that number. You uh, understand what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, two, two things, two things. First of all, let me get this one. Get, wait, wait, go back to that girl I said, I'm about to connect those two things. <laughs> off, the motherfucker that even think, motherfucker, if you think it's mind control, you need to find what game is. Now, let me, let me, let's break that down, young lady. You know what's funny? We have a whole documentary. It's a whole <laughs> game thing. <laughs> this this shit. Of game. She's, <laughs> we can find the shit. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Like we have a whole documentary, people. Like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's right there. Like, God damn, man. So she trying to say game doesn't solve every we're talking to men. We're not talking about emotional women who are insecure, who goop on makeup, fake hair, fake eyes, and nails because they hate themselves in the mirror. We're not talking about women. The mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Fitty. I was gonna say on top of that, she's wrong because the game actually does solve everything. That's what they don't get. That's what they don't get. Game solves all things because it makes you solution based versus being problematic, young lady. No, what I what I see too is is that she's obviously on somebody's YouTube page right now because. <laughs> She's on you, so she's listening to the game from one of us. I don't know who, but <laughs> I will say it's helping her in her life to understand something right now. Mm. It ain't it ain't helping her it ain't helping her understand nothing except for that pussy wet. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wet, and she and she gotta say something so she could slow down the slow down the fucking flow of the juices. That's what's really going on. Right. She's, she's trying to she's trying to talk herself out of getting excited. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. See, you know, you know what's funny is like dudes don't understand, man. Like. Game, we're, we're talking about game, guys. We're just talking about life. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So everything is under the umbrella of life. You understand what I'm saying? So, so the thing is, is that if you if you look at, I remember I was listening to some. I can't remember who it was, but they basically said that you know there really aren't any problems in the world. They were saying that your mind makes you the way your mindset is makes you think that something's a problem right. because if you saw it a different way, then it would no longer be a problem. You know what I'm saying? So just even having a mindset shift solved the problem because you just looked at it a different way. You see what I'm saying? That's game. Okay, let, me, let, me, let me add this. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Steve. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. I go with you, Zach. You good. No, let, let me just say, game is omnipresent, meaning this. <laughs> ubiquitous refer to the quality of being everywhere. <laughs> omnipresent emphasizes in a lofty or dignified way the power, usually divine, of being Ooh. present everywhere at the same time. That's <laughs> day, nigga, everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, that nigga, <laughs> see, now that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Boy, see, we, we, we I just don't learn it. Hey, <laughs> somebody <laughs> help me. <laughs> don't nobody know in the, in the church know what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> hey, man. No, I'm not saying that, man. I, I, nobody's saying that. Look, look, I, we know a lot of women are insecure because you wouldn't have your hair colored that way. You wouldn't be wearing those tattoos and those earrings that you're trying to draw a certain kind of guy in. But and that, 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 that saying, clown hair, that, that colorful yeah, that, ass, yeah, snow yeah, cone yeah. hair she got too. But regardless of what you're saying, believe you me, if you got with any of these guys on the panel, you would be told what to do and you would do it. 
or you? Well, I'll tell you right now, if she was with me, uh, right, it's three forty-five. She should be preparing uh, dinner right now. Dinner should be <laughs> being prepared. You shouldn't be you're spending your time on YouTube critiquing other men. If right. you had stru- if you had some structure in your life, <laughs> if you had structure and leadership, you wouldn't be commenting right now. And that's what it is. That's some real shit. That's some real shit. But let's go to let's go to six four six real quick. Somebody, somebody needs a spanking from dad. Six four six. Six, four, six. What's problem? Who this? Oh. This nigga. Oh yeah. Hey, get the nigga. Hit that butt, mama. Hey, you damn nigga. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers. It's crazy. Yeah, but see, this is what we try to tell y'all guys. See, a woman like that will run the majority of you guys because a woman like that feels that she's above most of you guys. Mm. She no, she can't get away with that shit with, with real ass men. She couldn't talk that way, man. Mm-hmm. At all. At <laughs> all. See, see, she she's still here because she wants the attention. Mm. See, that, that's what it is. See, it, it's funny because instead of just coming here and, 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 and choosing the motherfucker she want to fuck with, she just want to get in the in the comment section and just say some random shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause she wants to, she loves the attention. She loves all that masculine energy. It's like, it's like a verbal gangbang. You know what I'm saying? She, she loves that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so at uh at fucking um what time because I comment I don't have a structure or oh, see exactly she don't know hey, not now now again you see who got to her soul right because right. that's <laughs> what got to her I know how to tap in I knew <laughs> what I said would move her in that direction. That's game. I knew. I triggered that response. So I appreciate it. Thank 1950, you. She at home like this right now. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she can't stand. She can call her little guy for it and be like, I can't believe them assholes was saying that stuff about me. Oh, golly gee, I can't. Arm. Harassing, bullying—that's <laughs> what they're gonna put on our uh, on our video. <laughs> <laughs> but at, at five forty-three or six forty-three, uh, uh, if as Jay had a question. All right, uh, where you at? Where you say? What's his name? Forty-three. Uh, let me see here. Five forty-three. My my life as Jay. All right, let me see. Forty-three. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Wait, let me see. Forty-three. Forty-three. Did he put a Q there? So is, wait, what was his yeah, name? Yeah, it's a Q. My, my life as Jay. Yep. My life as Jay. Oh, my life as Jay. I'm sorry. Here we go, Jay. There you go. This is what skills uh, I can use personally to help improve my mindset. In other words, tools to help understanding my fingerprint, as Steve would say. What, what's your thoughts? Well, well, my life is Jay. This is what we're trying to tell you. And I've always told you guys, because of your fingerprint, that sets you aside from every man on this planet. So if, you're, if, you're, if your fingerprint defines you as you, you must know how you operate, not how I, Lucario, Zag, Miles, or 1950 operate, you got to self-discover yourself. See, that's where the game comes in at. I didn't say nothing about women. I said it's a self-discovery of what you do, but it's not just what you do. You got to know why you're doing it. You got to stand on it. You got to defend that fucking position and die for whatever it is you feel about yourself to be adamant and be able to walk away from a woman that doesn't give you what you want. But you must find it. But if you can't find it, that's why we tell you, go to Real Game No Theory. Any of these men right here can guide you to get more understanding. But in order to do that, we've got to ask more personal questions, and we can't do that live on air. So that's why we tell you to find a mentor or a coach that can help you guys. Right. No, I, I just want to say a lot of these guys' questions, and you know, keep asking our questions, but some of the shit that y'all ask, we can't fix it online. You, you, you're going to have to invest. Mm-hmm. Okay, in, in yourself and investing in yourself also will include you're gonna have to come out of pocket for one of these men, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and, and get some help. If you are truly, if you really want to improve yourself, not necessarily for women though, okay, just improve yourself overall. So, because mm-hmm. you want every aspect of your life to be on point, okay, whether it be your, your business life, your personal life, your family life, your love life, whatever it is you got going on, you want everything to be popping. So you need to invest, okay? We can tell you some shit right now, but that really ain't gonna help you. You know, mm-hmm. we might say some shit that you know it might it might you know make your ears feel good because it sounds good to you, but in order for someone to really help you, we gotta know more about you, what you're going through, what, what your life is like. You know what I'm saying? Right. And also, I say I I this. I think what a lot of guys gotta understand is is that first you have to 
you have to uh, admit to yourself that you don't want to learn game. You understand what I'm saying? Like you have to first admit that you don't want to learn. You don't want to change. You don't want to actually do. You have to admit to yourself that you actually don't want to do it because what happens is, is that a lot of people like the, the, the thoughts they already have in their head. You understand? Mm-hmm. So they're comfortable, like, right? They're comfortable with what they know and they think what they know is everything. So, so when they hear us, they're like, oh, these guys is bullshit and they just trying to sell courses. They just saying shit because they like to talk and all that. So it's to in, in their own mindset, that's what they're thinking because what they think now, they think that they're right and they think that we're wrong. You understand what I'm saying? And so therefore, they're not going to be able to even get the help in the first place because they first have to admit that they don't want the help. It's almost like being in the AA meeting. You have to say, hi, my name is Bob and I'm an alcoholic. You have to admit you're an alcoholic you understand what I'm saying first so that you can get help, you know, later. So a lot of these guys have to admit that they're not really ready to make it happen. They know they don't really want it to happen. Like they got to admit that they hate listening to this shit. They hate the game. <laughs> they wish chicks would just choose up on them all day. They wish they could just sit on their ass and girls will come to them. They wish they could just have the looks, money and status. And that's going to be the end all be all. They wish that they could just get their money up and be on their purpose. And that's going to help everything. You see what I'm saying? I'll tell you guys this. If, if you're listening to the information that we're telling you and it makes you comfortable, then we're doing something wrong. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of the people that you listen to, they say shit that makes you feel comfortable about the position you're in. See, it's always going to be uncomfortable when you're trying to grow. You understand? That's why they call it growing pains. You mm. know what I'm because you're going to, you know what I'm saying? You're going to feel that pain. I, right. I want to say two things. Uh, first of all, and, and real quick for the, the other guy, before I say something to this lady, right? this, this girl, this chick, excuse me, this chick. First thing I want to say to the guy is that most of you guys are looking for behavior modification, and that's the problem. You need someone that's going in and change thought. You want on change in behavior. Y'all want an answer to change your behavior. That's not going to where the change happens. The change has to happen on a deeper level than your behavior. And number two, let me say some DA one check peep game, baby girl. Look, listen, listen. And this is being brought to you by Mass and Gill and Tampax, whatever the fuck you want to use. But listen, I don't need to be attractive to you because I'm fucking attractive to myself. And Ooh. that's what the motherfuckers don't understand. <laughs> And, and on top of that, on top of that, Erin Erin is a liar because at six fifty two she said, "Calling for what to have a bunch of men think they're gonna run me? Nah, I'm good." And then earlier in the chat she said that she's super submissive. You see what I'm saying? So if Erin's a liar, then we can't take nothing she's saying seriously at this point. And this is this is what you guys have to understand. This is why you can't listen to what the hell they're saying to you because they're just going to say things to, to either one, make themselves feel good, or they're just going to say things based off of how they're feeling in that exact moment. So right. a woman has to earn the right for you to take her seriously. You yes. Aaron, Aaron, you should be preparing dinner anyway. Like I said, get right. off of YouTube. Yes. What, get like, off what of YouTube. You You're, what are, like, what do you... I don't. I don't understand what her value is at this point. She's not you know being is? submissive. I, I bet you, You're not being submissive to dinner. You need to be in there preparing you, Sunday meal. I bet you, if she, if she got a man, I bet you she put hot pockets in, in, a, in a microwave for that nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, and be like, here, baby. Hey, she bro. make a hot dog and bring him ketchup packets. <laughs> not the ketchup, ketchup package. First that's how all, you know. That's how you know you low level with the ketchup package. It's it's five. It's 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 five p.m. Y'all time. Uh, probably what 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 four p.m. It's it's uh it's, it's five forty-five. It's three fifty-four in Cali. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, Sunday dinner is supposed to be started at around nine to eleven a.m. But that's yeah. just that's something else. Yeah, but exactly. I just say, for the fact that none of us are attractive, you still here though, baby girl. That's exactly right. right. <laughs> no, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? But let's go to nine seven three on the road. <laughs> we'll go to 973. 973, what's popping? Who this? Hi, Cole Steel here. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Cole Steel? <laughs> Hi. So I, have an, I have an answer to that uh, previous caller's question of, of what's the number one thing he should work on before, before anything else as far as game. So I think he needs to work on the full package and uh, get, uh, get one bro, of the- Bro, 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 stop, bro. Are you calling in? Giving us tips with the, are you answering the question for us, bro? 
How is it like, bro? The nerve of you! I, I, I mean, this, this, this is unbelievable. That's like, that's like me. That's like me going to going inside a hospital, putting on a jacket. <laughs> look! Look out, everybody! Look here, man. This is exactly what you need to do. Are you perform over high surgery? No, put that foul. Cut the red one. Cut the red one. <laughs> he was like an alternative medicine doctor, right? Oh. He might do that, wouldn't he? Oh my God, man! All right, man. You have a good good Sunday, man. You you All you're right. probably preparing Sunday dinner right now. <laughs> All right, guys. The caller hey. number five one six three one two four people. Hey hey, hey oh, Mister yeah. nineteen fifty. You you think you're the only one that has game? <laughs> what, what the fuck are you talking about? You don't. You're not the only one that has game. <laughs> called in to so help answer the other caller because I don't think you guys answer his question. You see, so, Miles, you see, Miles, this is why nobody likes us. Be like all the other people and tell us what they want to hear and be nice. And <laughs> give them all. I mean, he really, he, really, he really said, I'm going to answer the next caller for you. <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga 1950 said, the unmitigated goal of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to call into a Tony Robbins live stream and tell him how to make money. Hey, guys. Hey, this is Cold Steel. Yeah. Next time, Cold Steel, don't, don't call up. Just ask for a link, bro. Bro, oh man. <laughs> if, if these, I'm so yo. If these Nick, they better not be trolls. Him, Sushi, they just they better not be trolls, bro. If they trolls, they are too good. Oh my god. <laughs> but guys, the caller number is five one six three seven one two two four five one six three seven one two two four is the number. If you have a question, put a Q in the chat. Here's a dragon. Here's an easy answer, Arthur. The reason they cheat on their husbands is because of the question that you're asking. First off, why do you give a fuck what women do with other men? Why don't you ask about the woman that cheated on you with one of us? And the reason why she cheated on you, on us with, with with us with you with you around and shit is because you ain't got no game, son. You don't know how to touch a woman the right way. You don't know how to talk dirty to her. You don't even know how to keep her around. Oh, but wait, here's the thing. You don't know how to let me. I, 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 this going. This your answer. You ready? This is your answer. Right. Sometimes. I say it like this: If you can tell me what to do, mm -hmm. then you can tell me what to do. But if you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Listen, let me let me be real with y'all, man. If I if I if I spoke to a woman just randomly at a bar and she told me that shit, I'd be like, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Like yo, I come to me right now. Me right, right for real. I do like I do like uh, uh Will Smith did to Jada. Will Smith got some game. Y'all be front on Will Smith. He said to her, he said, "Yo, you got a man?" She said, "No." He said, "You got one right now." I said, "Oh shit, this nigga got some fucking game." He said, "You, he said, you do now." <laughs> he's, like, he's like, "It's a wrap. It's done. You feel me?" See, but see, I, I don't I don't think they understand how to speak to somebody like it's a foregone conclusion. Like it's a done deal. Right, I'm speaking to you like it's already done. I'm not yeah. speaking to you like I'm hoping. Right, like he said, he didn't say, "Well, do you want a man? I can be one." No, right. he said, "You got one now." Right, exactly. <laughs> like, I love that shit. Like yeah. I'm making decision for you. Like just yeah, I don't, I don't. I I've been in grocery stores. You know, my I'm a grocery store killer. Boy, I tell you, I go in there. Look, <laughs> I don't like look into the basket and be like, "Oh, you must got kids," because <laughs> it don't look like you got nothing in there healthy to be cooking for your man. And all of a sudden. <laughs> Mm -hmm. She'd be like, oh no, this is not what I do. Like, yeah, yeah, you don't you seem like a low-level cook. You need to cook for me. And all of a sudden, shit changed. This is what I do. Like, I'm telling you, the grocery store is is like the club. Oh, yeah. Those are the look, you can tell how they look and they come in, they work out clothes. Okay, <laughs> she's in there, she work out, she's trying to prepare some dinner. Yes. I'm telling you, you men are going to the wrong areas to talk to these women. No, Whole Foods and Trader fucking Joe's. You hear me? Oh, yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Sprouts. Yes. What? Yes. Sprouts, too. What? Yeah, sprouts. Yeah, all that organic. Oh, Anything yeah. organic. Sprouts. Sprouts. And if you got a Wegman in your city, Wegmans, Sprouts. Oh, yeah. Whole oh, Foods. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. All of those high-level fucking uh, supermarkets. Yeah. That's yeah. where the that's where the dope ones be at, bro. I kid you yeah. not. Not, 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 not only that. No, it's just now, bro. No, but they but they showing you they probably cook from scratch. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to see in the basket. If you see yeah. a bunch of microwavable shit, you be like, I can't fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Period. Wait, 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 wait. What do you say? Go through. 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, this is okay. Understand this is why we're trying to show you why you tell a woman what to do. We are not problematic. A problem to us is a meter the size of Jupiter heading towards Earth. That's a problem. A woman will never be a problem to a man ever. Let's get let me say that ever. So when you're saying that you you got guys, a lot of men, see, that's your problem. First off, you're defining them as men. Because you're attaching a man and a problem as one thing. Men don't have problems. We will get rid of and bring somebody else in or just get rid of them all together. Fellas, what say y'all on that, man? Uh, wait, he said, I'm going through this with two of my friends. I've been married for 16 years. It's a lot of men that's going through relationship, real problems in their marriage. Well, bruh, I mean, listen, man, li listen, again, this is why we're here. This is Nigga, just, just play Jill Scott again. You know what I'm saying? You'll play Jill again. Here, here we go. Hey, hey, listen. I say it like this. If you can tell me what to do, mm -hmm. then you can tell me what to do. But if you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Arthur, that's your friend's problem. Yeah. They can't tell their women what to do. Right, exactly. That's facts. That's, that's it. Ever. They can't tell their women what to do. Arthur, <laughs> Arthur, go ahead and call in, man. We want yeah, to. We want exactly. you to call in. Call in. Call in. Five one six eight three eight seven one two two four. Call in. And, and let me let me let me just add this because you know Steve said we don't ever have problems with women and we don't. And guys need to understand all these women are temporary. temporary. They're all re they're all replaceable. All of them. Exactly. There's a problem with a lot of you guys because y'all married. Y'all think she's irreplaceable. No, she can be replaced just as easy as the girl you've been dealing with for six weeks. She can be replaced. Mm. Zach, oh, let me show y'all. I showed, uh, God damn it, I showed people this. I got to show y'all. Wait, if I can find it while y'all doing it. Let me show y'all. I showed everybody on the show, uh, this woman right here, to show them that for the regular average that, guy. That they Android Oh man, fuck you. I ain't my Android motherfucker. I ain't no goddamn uh, <laughs> fucking. Fuck I'm an Android for life, motherfucker. Fuck you. Anyway. So I showed these guys this photo right here of this woman right here. Yeah. And I said, for most of you guys, y'all going to think that this is sexy and attractive and y'all will cupcake bend over backwards and kiss her ass. And mm. I'm saying we see insecurity right here. We mm. see need for attention. We see daddy issues. Mm. We see a problem. We see somebody that will give us ass on general principle because we ain't giving her any kind of play. But the mm. guy will see her. And they would say, "Oh my gosh, she's so pretty." There's exactly. no way you, get, you see what I'm saying. Is that is yeah. that is she buy lumber? Yeah, yeah she, exactly. Yeah, she, yeah. Yeah, she, she had Home Depot or some shit like that. Yeah, Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, she wants some wood. You feel me? So this is sexy. She want pipe. That she buy the pipe right there. That's the uh, PVC pipe. She wants some long ass pipe. That's what she wants. This, this is the easiest woman to fuck in the whole store. Right. Mm -hmm. it's full of insecurities. Mm -hmm. and they, but they don't see that because again. They don't see game. Game looks through and cuts through all the fucking bullshit that they cake on. All those insecurities mm -hmm. right there. But what's Look, so funny, Steve? My bad. Go ahead, Miles. Go ahead. You got no, it. I, was, I was just going to say that, um, like, you know, it always kills me when, when, I, when I see guys always paying attention to other dudes. You talking mm -hmm. about it's a lot of men that's going through. Nigga, what are you going through? Right, right. <laughs> What are you going through? And why and why the fuck are you giving a fuck about your friends, nigga? Like you just I, I told y'all this game shit, this management shit, it's a 24-hour job. You ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> Dude, you and my friends are going through some shit and I've been married for 16 years. Nigga, oh. pay attention to your to your life. You know what I'm saying? Because probably the reason why your man's and them is having problems in their relationships, because mm. one of them one of them or both of them probably fucking your wife. Mm. Hey, hey, Miles. I think Miles too had a. Uh, I think he was talking. You had a stream earlier today. And you yeah. he was talking about how the dude was on there saying something about making sure the the negativity for, around you is not there. I think he was talking about something like that, man. You can't right. have people around you. Facts, man. Just always complaining and That's always right. having a terrible life. That's well, right. hold, hold real quick. I just want to ask him real quick, yeah. and, and um, and then I'm gonna throw it to you, Zach. Because they always say if you married, don't hang around single people, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're fucking, if you got a good fucking marriage or a good relationship in general, don't hang around motherfuckers in fucked up relationships. But you got it, Zach. Exactly. No, I, I just because he said people go through real relationship problems. My right. thing is, if you are married and you got problems in your marriage, then you are the problem. You mm. know what I'm saying? Period. Because you shouldn't have no problems. That's facts. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Here, you know, here, here's the thing. You know, we, we, we all go through our little bullshit, but if, if you have a situation where you, you got anxiety, you losing sleep, you complaining to your boys, and you're going through a bunch of changes behind a woman, get rid of that woman. The reason why you're not going to get rid of that woman because you're afraid you can't find another one. Mm. That means you are the problem. Ooh, God damn. <laughs> that, that's the uncomfortable shit that we be talking about. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah move, moving moving on is, is one of the greatest feelings ever. Oh, oh it's great. It's All great. that dead weight just falls off. It's, it's um, great, man. You know, you hit that ticker tape button and uh, no, who's next? Who's coming in? But or or you look at trade bait. I mean, come on, man. You can do you guys know that you can trade and get a supplemental pick and maybe a, a first, a second, and a fifth for your girl if like you trade it. right. I like mm-hmm. I like sending the back the back the bat signal out, <laughs> put it in the sky, and, and, and then all of a sudden your your DMs fill up with is everything okay is all is everything all right? <laughs> they always <laughs> waiting. They're always <laughs> waiting. Let me yeah. find out this nigga 1950 got a got a uh, a, a silverback gorilla uh, sign <laughs> going out into the fucking sky out here. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Call the numbers 516-387-1224, 516-387-1224 is the number. If you got a question, put a Q in the chat and we'll get this shit cracked. Oh, hold up, hold up. Is it is 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 Cole still does Cole still have more balls to call in than the rest of these niggas? That's what I'm saying. I think so. Oh, <laughs> niggas is getting scared that they might get roasted, huh? <laughs> like, oh, I don't want to call in and say Cole approach because Steve might get me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to call in and say choose the signals because Lucario might get me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say nothing about manhood because K. Zag is going to be like, you see, I hate these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to try to tell people what to do because 1950 get my ass. <laughs> <laughs> going to be like, that's very vaginal, young man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need Aaron to call in. I'm, are she still watching the show? Right, she needs yeah. need Aaron to call in. Yeah, because she ain't cooking dinner, so she might as well call in. Oh, she, she can't, can't call she can't in because her phone is not waterproof. She ain't got the new shit. <laughs> <laughs> if she wants to try to touch the phone right now. She's gonna short circuit her shit. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Oh, oh man, dog. Oh, no. Call I mean, shout, out to, um, shout out to uh to, to Jill Scott for the for the game, man. Cause yeah, 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 that, yeah. Shit was heavy. that you know that shit's something that Lucario and I discussed, you know, uh before because that, that was a I think it was a um a Breakfast Club interview. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 I don't and I don't know if you even heard Charlemagne and Envy in the background, like, damn, right, yeah. because uh, them two niggas don't know, you know what? Oh, right? those those they simp, both of them are simping. N- exactly. Or, Exactly. And, and and I say that out of love. You know what I'm saying? I say that out of love yeah. because any man I see simping, it's like, bro, like I wish you, I, right. wish, I wish I could really give you the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wish I could take the all spark out of my chest and put it into yours, but I can't do that. The game is all for me, bro. Oh, if you got three phones, go ahead and call in. Let, let, let's, let's talk yeah. about it. Get the booty call. Yeah, I want to talk to you in regards of how you're feeling <laughs> about these men on the show. <laughs> Call in. Yeah, don't be, you know, we won't bite. We won't bite. You won't bite. Come on in, girl. No, wait, wait, wait. I just want to point something out. Uh-huh. Notice she didn't say my pussy is nowhere near wet. She said I got three phones. That means I got three chances to get these fucking phones before I can make the call. What? She got she got cricket, metro, and boost mobile. <laughs> She got that. She got three Obama phones. <laughs> that's that's not leaving a message right now. <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ, man! But man, it's it's look look guys, look guys. I you know I, I just want you guys to understand, man. If you're that guy, women are gonna listen to you. You understand? And and sometimes if you are that guy. Some women are gonna run away because they don't want to live. They they don't want to have to listen to you. You understand? Because you gotta understand some someone. This is why guys be scared to say shit because they're like, oh well, what if again she ain't gonna go for that? Well, let her not go for that. But you always gotta stand on your square and say what the fuck you gonna say and be how you gonna be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, it's and, crazy. And, and these you know these 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 quote unquote marriage problems, man. Like mm. like I don't. <clears throat> 
I'm like, how could you how could you enter into a marriage with problems? Right. You know what I'm saying? How could you how, how could, could you stay with problems? <laughs> how could you how could you enter? How could you give a woman a title as your girl? Mm. Like, look, let me tell you something. Even even when I'm even when I'm choosing which pair of shades to put on, which which chain to put on. Mm. Like I'm making a conscious fucking choice each time. Y'all think I just put this shit on? Mm. I make a conscious choice each time, and then I and then I switch the lights to match with the fuck I'm wearing. Right. Now, little little shit like that is just little details that nobody might pay attention to. But what I'm trying to say is little things lead to big things. Mm. So if you're not covering the details of the little things, and then you got a bitch disrespecting you and you're not covering that detail, meaning you're not checking that bitch. And then you give her the title of girlfriend, then the title of wife. Like K Zagan said, you got problems in your marriage and relationship, but the problem is you. Right. The problem is you not be not not paying attention to the game, not paying attention to the details of what's going on in your own motherfucking life. Mm-hmm. Y'all think this shit, y'all, yo, y'all think any of this shit is by accident? Right. None of yo, <clears throat> um, um, Rosebud said it. He said. Accidents don't happen to motherfuckers that got game. Because mm-hmm. when you got game, whatever whatever you want to happen, it was is is that is exactly what's about to fucking happen. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like like Steve said, unless it's a fucking meteorite the size of Jupiter coming to hit the fucking Earth, we ain't got no problems. Never, mm-hmm. never. Because, because I'm I'm, fo- I'm focused on the little details and the big details. So we're, so where a bitch come off thinks she could say anything funky to me. That's right. like, you know, this, right. this, this quote that Jay Prince said, we get two things daily, a chance and a choice. Mm-hmm. Every time you wake up, you got a choice and a chance. Bad. Use them both wisely. So for all these dudes that's in these fucked up marriages, you got a choice. Mm-hmm. You can leave that marriage. Mm-hmm. Or you got a chance. You got a chance to put that chick in a place to make sure that you have a happy home. It's up to you. But, right. but, but, but what it is, these dudes know well, if, I, if I go too far overboard with it, she might get mad. And yeah. I might not get no pussy for like a month. Last time we last time she got mad at me, I didn't get asked for like two weeks. Mm. That, uh, these niggas really be going through that bullshit. Right. And, come yeah. on, man. The, I don't know. What marriage, the marriage was oh fucked God. up. Well, the marriage is fucked up the moment that he couldn't tell her what to do. And that's what guys understand. The moment she realizes that you can't lead her. Your food, that's, mm-hmm. and it's no right. not. And listen, this is not even a knock on women. I can't get mad at a woman for running you guys because mm-hmm. you're allowing that shit. So we we're not here to knock women and bust women. Hey, if a woman is running you, then hey, she should run you. If she's hitting you, she should punch and twist. If she's throwing <laughs> shit at you, she should throw shit at you and, and add some shit. She Ooh. should be abusing your ass for that weak shit you doing, man. Not on that, Steve. A lot of these women, they have animosity towards these niggas. Because uh, these, women, these women are mad because I took your fucking name. And this is what I get? Mm, you? you? Yeah. I'm stuck with you? <laughs> uh, you know yeah. So, so they, they wake up every day just mad. I get, I'll be catching you when these niggas are sleeping, the bitches be looking at them. And, right. and, 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 they, and, they women, and they women probably watching the show and, and making comments when they should be cooking dinner. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is your wife that's probably on <laughs> <laughs> let's go to, let's go to 302 320 um 320 what's popping who this man 320 what's going on hey, hey what's up can you guys hear me what's going on what's up man yeah so i i met i, kn- I knew this girl through a friend of a friend and I, I was texting her a bit and then um i asked her hey i like, come over to my place let's meet up have some drinks or whatever and then she says oh like yeah, let's do it. And then she texted again saying, actually, never mind. Can we go meet for drinks instead at a public place? Okay. What's, what's wrong with that? <laughs> man. Well, I'm going to tell you what I think, man. Because, look, if I tell a chick to come over <laughs> and and she's in, and I say, come over to my spot for drinks. And then she says, cool. And then and then all of a sudden. So so what happened? You was this was this was. Who was the girl? That's a girl you met offline, or a girl you just met through somebody yeah. else? A friend, friend of a friend. Uh, this is a unique case. So she's my best friend's girlfriend's friend. Mm-hmm. So okay. like we kind of knew each other, but we never met before. Okay. 
And then, and then you told her to come through to your crib to get to, to, to have some drinks. And she said, cool. Yeah, she said, all right, cool. Right. And then and then and when then did an she hour later, she follows up and says, nah. OK, yeah, I, I, would, I would cut that off. I, I'd say I say to her, listen, uh, whenever you're ready to come through to the get drinks, then holler at me. But other yeah. than that, we're not we're not going to no yeah, public. I'm, shit. Yeah, I'm good. I, I ain't coming out there. I invited you here. That means I want to be here. I ain't going out there. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So it she, sounds she like it sounds like she found I, out. It found out. It sounds like she found out. She went through some Instagram. She went through something to find out she was turned her off. Yeah, there was some weakness. Yeah, it was some. It was something. It was something in there, bro. That 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 you, you, she done found something out, or even she got cold feet because she didn't feel like it was worth her time because you didn't you didn't give her the orgasms like you supposed to. You hey, sound, hey, you, hey. you didn't you wasn't really invested in what you was telling her. You should have said, "Look, you gonna come over here." And and I'm gonna show you a part of your life that you never experienced. Mm. Hey, hey, caller, caller, why don't you just forget what those guys are saying on the panel? <laughs> Let me ask you a question, caller. Do you yep. really want to fuck? What do you want to do, caller? With that girl? Yeah. If you had the opportunity right now, what do you want to do with her? With that girl? Yeah. With that girl. With that girl. That girl, I want to have her over here, talk to her for like thirty minutes, and then see if she's cool and then smash. Okay, wait, wait. Are you? I don't, I don't sure? like talking. Hey, to wait, that, are that's you? Way too long. I know, but wait. Are you sure that's what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is what we want you to do. Click over, call her up right now, put her online. We'll be quiet, and you tell her exactly what you told us. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get it, you over here. Unless you want me to pretend like I can pretend like I'm you, bro, and I'm I'm gonna get her to the crib. <laughs> right. So we you say, wait, wait, we're trying to show you. We, you you wanted to come over to smash, right? So why don't you ask for what you want? Yeah. So you ready to do it? Well, I said like drinks in a movie. I think it's is it kind of implied drinks that? at a movie. No, 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 no. You didn't say you say you're gonna talk to her for 30 minutes and we fuck or smash or have sex or make love or whatever words you want to use, but you make, make love. Oh, the movie? Motherfucker don't say make yeah, love. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> click over right now and bring her on. We'll be quiet and you tell her live on the air what you want to do if you about the game. You said that's what you want, right. Right? Call him. A lot on that Holy shit. Wait, but yeah. wait, 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 bro, bro, there's nothing to be afraid of. What's the worst she can say? What's the worst she can say, big dog? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah good are, you, are you ready for your nuts to drop from your stomach? Are you ready to do some real what men do? <laughs> are you ready to do it? Yes, do you need some help reeling her in? Or, I mean, what is it that you need help with? You got three sharks here. We got your back. We support you. So you ready to do it? Uh, I'm not gonna do that on the air. Then this is why she doesn't want to fuck with you. You know, you you can't even ask for what the fuck you want. So how can you tell her what to do? You can't even tell yourself what to do. Ooh. So that's why she ain't fucking with your weak motherfucking ass. Hashtag Joe Scott. Sorry, <laughs> weak ass motherfucker. That's why she said no, because she know that your pussy is tighter than hers. You can't oh. even ask her to come over and fuck. You told us that's what you wanted. So why can't you ask for what you want? See, what happened was oh, is that you, you she talked to you I became her priority when she talked to me. And so then she just called you back to say she couldn't hang out no more, bro. That's what really happened. Some man got in her ear and really made you second or third on her list. No, mm. she's fucking somebody right now. You want to know why? Because Raw. that fucking nutted up and told her to come over and let's fuck versus, mm. well, why don't we come over and hang out and watch some Netflix together? We, we yeah. popcorn and everything. It'll be great. I mean, even, even, but even when he was telling us what he wanted, he's like, uh, I want to talk to her for like 30 minutes. And then, then maybe. <laughs> what I mean, maybe. what the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> but, you know what he, but you know what he said too? Something that, 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 that we kind of glossed over. He said that they have been texting back and forth for a little while. Oh, man. The, the, weakness, the weakness was somewhere in there, I bet you. Suck of shit. Bro, do you, you didn't. Bro, has she ever seen you before in person? 
No, we never met in person. We just uh, had her Instagram. Okay. Instagram? What's her Instagram account? What's she already, Instagram? She already know you, though. Y'all, y'all know each other, right? We know of each other. Right. So y'all know of each other. Basically, y'all know each other, meaning y'all know is they, this ain't no random. You understand? So she already knows of you. You know of her. So if if you're you're letting her know, hey, listen, come through. And if she being wishy-washy already about it, just be like, listen, cool. Just hit me up when you're ready to come through. Because see, this is the thing you gotta you have to listen, you gotta stand on your shit consistently. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? How's it gonna how are you gonna fuck when you can't even ask? Her? How are you gonna fuck when you can't even t- remember? Tell her what to do. Did you do you do I need to play the Jill Scott for him again? I say it like this if you can tell me what to do, mm-hmm. then you can tell me what to do. But if you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> oh, you need to call her and tell her what the fuck is going on, man. Why can't why why, why are you scared? Tell us what what are you afraid of? Do it. Am I afraid of? Well, if I tell her, hey, come over, let's fuck, she's gonna be like, oh well, I don't really know you or oh, so, 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 so want it though, right? This see this. Oh. All these motherfuckers always talk about yo. Wait, let me get that one night late. Let me have her over. Okay, right. if that's what you want, ask for what you want. And and, and, and it's still a fifty percent chance because you, you got she may, she may she may just say, "Man, that's all I wanted." But you were playing with a movie in a fucking dream. <laughs> call her, call her. If you ask each and every last one of these gentlemen, do we give a fuck what a woman think? Please. What do you think you're gonna see? Just ask us. What do you think that we're uh, gonna right, say? Right. Okay, fuck. Exactly. No! <laughs> yeah, you care. You care. You care way too you much, man. Like that. Like way too much. Like, man. like what it is is just you think you got her. You think you got her on ice. You think <laughs> you think you got her on ice, and you think yeah. you're gonna have to redeem that later on and get a hold of that. That's what you really thinking. Wait, so hold on. Let me ask you a question. Are you scared that she gonna tell tell her friend that you just was trying to fuck her or whatever? You think you scared? You scared that she gonna say that? No, nah, I wasn't scared of that. So what are you scared of? You, you scared of something. You scared of something. Don't, 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 I said you're not scared. You are. Like, what happened? Hmm? What'd you say? No, nah, like this has worked in the past. When I talk to girls on Tinder, I say, hey, come over for a movie and drink. They say, yes, we come over and smash. They come over and we, we smash. Okay, well, okay, she can't read your mind. And here's the problem with that movie and drink shit. She's going to perceive that you're just a nice guy that wants to watch a movie and have a drink. So it's better to let her know. Remember the rule, brother. You can't come over if I ain't coming. She should know that. So with that being said, why don't you man the fuck up and ask for what you want? This is y'all's Bro. problem. See, Steve, you can't ask. I'm sorry. Zab, no, what's up? no he, he do what a lot of guys do because he said in the past, he invited six over for drinks in a movie and he fucked. The reason why you fucked because they were sexually attracted to you. Right. If you never would have offered the movie and shit, they still would have probably came up and fucked you. But right. because because you because you fucked by doing that, you think that's the thing to do. You think that works because you got some ass. No. The women were already feeling you. Look, call her. I'll put it to you like this. Mm-hmm. There, there are women, right, when they deal with men, if they are sexually attracted to you enough, if you offer a date, there are women who would tell you, skip the date. How about I come to your place and we fuck? There are women who would tell men this. Mm-hmm. Okay. So a lot of times when you guys offer this extra shit, the woman is looking at you like, I just wanted some dick, but fuck it. If you're going to feed me, buy me something to drink and take me to the movies, I'll take that shit to end the dick. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. a lot of times that's what's happening. And what if she, you know who your greatest regret is? What if she says yes? You're going right. to. You 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 have a 50-50 shot right here. 50-50. You can boss up for the oh. first time in your fucking life and ask for what you want or continue to be her buddy where she calls you over complaining about one of these guys on this panel. Ooh. What you gonna do, dog? You say next time I should just call her and say, "Hey, what's hey, up?" Well, you you good, man. Hey, look, go to the kitty hey, side. Man, hey, man, this is Do why this is the this winner is... circle. God, this is, the, this is why this is the winner circle. I don't think I, I want all everybody in the chat room and anybody to watch this in the future. Jesus. This is a prime example on why certain men win and other men lose. Facts. 
didn't even ask. That this is a prime example. He's a walking loser. Oof. He oh, can't, you... he can't, he can't even say to himself, This is what I want. Let me go get it. Mm. This is sad. This is really sad. And and this is why I, I do what I do because I don't want men to feel like that. That that fucking bitch inside of you that's telling you, no, no, don't do that. She she she's going to be mad at me, or you know, my friends are gonna see this, or you know, my friends are gonna know I've been rejected. Stop being Jeez. someone else's bitch. How does that shit how does that shit feel, caller, knowing you want to fuck? But you can't even ask for what you want. I, I don't know how that feels. I'm at, I'm not being funny. How does that feel? Do you um, keep sitting down? It's territory for me. I've never actually thought of the idea of literally calling a chick up and saying, Okay, wait, wait. When you go to McDonald's or you go to a fast food restaurant, do you not ask for what you want? You're right. I do ask for what I want. Do I want you, go to, you go to McDonald's and say, well, guess what I want to eat? Or do you tell them what you want? <laughs> it's That's not what I want. Right, so why can't you do this with this woman and tell her what you want? Or, or, or does he say, I do want a Big Mac, but that might take her too long to cook it. <laughs> she might feel better just cooking me a single burger. I, mean, I want to make sure she's comfortable cooking what I want. Or, or I have zero money in my pocket to, to really get this burger, so I don't even know why I'm even here. <laughs> That's it. Come on, dog. We got your back. Dog, this is going to teach you a lesson to change your perspective on how you see women. You're putting too much value in women. You know you want to fuck her because you want you you kind of told her. Now's a chance to just be direct with her like a man and, would do. And how long ago and how long ago was this situation? How long ago was that? Oh, it's like a week ago. One week is prime meat. Exactly. She's exactly. ready to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just call her, man. Because hey, look, look, you thinking enough about her to call us after this shit happened a week ago? Hey, hey. you really want to have her face in the pillow? Exactly. In the air. We do. We do. We do. No, we got your back. You got you got five sharks that's gonna back you, regardless of what she says. We gonna give you props, but we're trying to get you to break out of your shell. Most of you guys. Always want to know what game is. This is what game's about. Asking for what you want and telling them what you want and not giving a fuck about the result. Mm -hmm. Caller, caller. Do you know the difference between a lion on a Serengeti and a zoo kept lion? If, if you ever paid attention, mm -hmm. a lion in the wild is much bigger and his mane is much fuller than a zoo kept lion, okay? Number one, the lion on the Serengeti, he does what the fuck he want to do. He eat when he want to eat, mm. sleep when he want to sleep. See, the lion in a zoo is on a schedule. Mm. The, the food is portioned. They just can't hunt for their shit and eat when they want to eat. They got to wait for someone to give them shit, which is what mm. you're doing. Mm. Yeah, dude, you ain't got nothing to lose, man. Look, 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 look. Yeah, like, but he, but he's, he's definitely a flamingo, though. He's not. Yeah. He's hey, not. Hey, look, you, want, you want fifty to talk for him? He, he'll hey, call. Oh, call, oh, oh, call her right now. Yeah, call her. We'll, one of us to talk to her for you. Do you I, want? Oh, to I, do watch this. Yeah, do you want us to do it for you, dog, or can you do it for yourself? <laughs> you guys gonna talk for me? Of course. Yeah. Well, well, well. She's gonna know off top with this <laughs> master of mine. You, know, you gotta talk like him. You gotta do it in his voice. My, Miles can do it. Miles can switch. It. I can't switch Miles it up like that. Good. Miles got it. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> Miles be like, hi. This is uh, this is uh, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> Miles, hey, my dude, Miles got the voices. Hey, go, Miles, go ahead, do it, do it. Uh, if you, if you, uh. If you're not that busy, I could, uh, could I, uh, could, uh, could I possibly, could I possibly maybe interest you in some, in some, uh, in some, uh, <laughs> maybe, oh my God, that's just not funny. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Yeah. No. So no, you, you want us to do it, dog? You want to do it? Do you want us to do it? What you want, dog? 
Uh, neither, neither. Brother, can take brother. Before you go, man. Before you go back, just you gotta sleep on it. You gotta sleep on it. He's like, think about it. This could be you right now. She could be wrapped around you, holding you. Hey, man, hold on, hold yeah. on, man. Hey, hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. He can't rock that position. You need to have some length to get in that position. Right here. <laughs> oh, you gotta have some. Length. You gotta have. You gotta have a lease. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be packing for that position. <laughs> See, y'all mean shit. Y'all fucked up. This is how niggas don't want to call in. Exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> hey man, no, we ain't clowning. Look, guys, we ain't clowning, and we're just trying to show women are clowning these guys. We ain't clowning. Women are laughing at you guys right now. You don't understand women like dick more than we like pussy. These women it, masturbate it, just like I, three, actually, four, five, they, all the I wanna, time. I want I want to ask the caller a serious question. So you said it's been a week since you last spoke or last communicated. Oh uh, yeah. How how many times since then have you went to her Instagram and kind of shadowed her? <laughs> like seriously, bro. Is that zero? Come on, man. You wouldn't be calling us asking us about this chick if you ain't been shadowing her and, and, and doing that uh that K Zag and shit that we caught him doing when he was a little lad and shit. Hey, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Steve, I resent that. <laughs> so so Carla, when when she said to you, I rather, I'd rather go to a bar and get a drink, what is what was your response? Mm. I said, uh, I'd rather just meet up at my place, and if you change your mind, just let me know. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm with, I'm with that. He said, I really hope that's what he really said. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Meet up and do what, though? Me, me, and see, this is why. Why can't y'all guys ask? Why can't you ask for what you want? That, I, 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 I think he said, why? Yeah, I, I don't understand, man. I don't understand. Let, let, me, let me ask the caller this. <clears throat> so when you first invited her to your crib, what pretense was it under? What did you tell her you guys were going to be doing? We were just meet up, get some drinks, watch a movie, and get to know each other. And okay, okay. Now, now let, let me, let me ask you another question. Let, let, me, let, me, let me ask you another question. When you when you first had interest in her, what went through your mind? Be honest. When you, when you first said, you know what, I'm interested in her. Pretty hot. I want to meet her, talk to her, and see who she is. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, man, wait, man. No, wait. no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call bullshit on that. Too. Wait, wait. Hold on. Look, I need to know this. So when you told her, hey, I want you to come over. Uh, hit me up when you're ready. That was the last thing that that was the last text. So she didn't respond to that at all. Yeah, nothing at all. Okay, so look, and she didn't respond. It's been a week, so now you can hit her back. You know what I'm saying? Like, do 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 this all one right. final thing where you're super direct, letting her know exactly what you want. Yeah, and see how she responds to that. And if she if she's because look, this is the thing. And, and look at it this way. Look at it this way. Right. This is a girl that already knows of you. You understand what I'm saying? She knows people you know. You understand? So it's not even like y'all are strangers and I never, you know what I'm saying? Like you're a random dude. Like she knows of you. You see what I'm saying? And then you told her what it was, right? And so the intentions are clear. So now if you was to hit her up again and then she's still not trying to fuck with you, then you definitely know she ain't trying to fuck with you. you hey, man. Hey, man. Get your... Open the text message up, man. Let's, let's, go ahead, let's, let's go ahead and get the text in her right now. Actually, smash. Say, say that again, Colin. I'm supposed to call up again, but this time be direct. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. The, listen, listen, listen. The reason why you need to be direct is because you have got to start training yourself to start asking for what you want and stop beating around the bush or you're going to end up that sucker coming over to her place fixing shit. <laughs> and I know you know, right here, but, you know, hey, hey, he he gonna be about to pull out a rubber out of the damn uh, joint from somebody else. You, what we're teaching you is game. We're not saying that you're harassing her. You just told us about 15 minutes ago what you wanted. You wanted to fuck. And if all you want to do is fuck and get her over to the place without really getting to know her because you don't want to get to know her. Why don't you be honest with her instead of mis giving her misintention, uh, lying about your intentions? You're trying to backdoor and walk on eggshells and shit, trying to get her to your crib. You need to be straight up and tell her, man. I don't yeah. know why I'm scared. 
and, and stop telling women you want to get to know them. Stop doing That's that shit. Over that like, shit like, stop, man. Take that shit out your vocabulary. Yeah. I want to get to know you. No, you don't. You want some pussy. <laughs> I'm saying, stop, stop saying hey, that. You want to fuck, man. Why can't you say that? Don't you want to play dog? You have 50 50 chance. If she says no, who gives a fuck? Why do, why do you care if she says no? Hey, so so call her. Are you are you are you into uh dominatrix? What's that? That <laughs> means when a woman dominates the man and she's actually fucking him. Because the reason why I'm saying this is because most of those men, they like women to lead. Mm. Did you know that? You. Right. Did this you know that? Did you know that? That was that's like a thing they, that they like to be dominated. Uh, so, so women you, women like direct men. So if you're not being direct, they feel like your 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 ma your masculinity is gone. Right? Yep. Yep. Mm. And you just want to hang out and t watch soap operas and like eat ice cream. And then when she tells you about that asshole named K Zagging and shit, that you just want to hug her and tell her everything's okay. I really, I, I really think we should have. I think Miles should pretend to be him. I think yeah, yeah, Miles the ring around. Let Lounge let Miles talk for you. Let Miles talk for you. Is that okay? Trust me, he trust me, he gonna have her ready for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, Miles won't be able to hold her legs up for you, but he'll get you the pussy. Do you want you want Uncle Miles to help you, sir? <laughs> nah, I should be able to do this myself. Well then do it, there you go. You almost go ahead like, and do it then. Then call her right now on the stream. You ready? That's a really question. Hey, I have a question. What's up? Look, um, so you you guys are saying that with all the girls in the past that I've asked over for you know drinks in a movie and get to know each other and all that bullshit. If I would have just told them directly, come over and smash, they all would have said yes. Yes, that's what we're telling you. And you probably would have a higher sex rate. Exactly. Right? Well, because you're asking for what you want, you're not beating around a bush. Call her. Call her. Let me ask you a question. Women don't want to be lied to, man. No, no, they don't. No, they don't. In fact, they actually respect even though even if they don't fuck you. They respect the fact that you got the balls enough to say exactly what you want, so you ain't wasting their goddamn time. Just like men don't want our time to be wasted, neither do women. Right. You you don't hey, wait, 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 call her. You don't think women call men and say, I want that dick? You don't think women call men and say, bring that dick over? You don't mm. think they say that shit? They do. Believe me, they do. I miss the dick. I most, want most dick. definitely. Yes, yeah, exactly. Definitely. Exactly. So can you, we're can saying, you hit the bottom again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do that special position. <laughs> Dang, put that, put that Nigga, Miles does not approve of that message. No. <laughs> so, dog, are you ready to nut the fuck up? Because if not, we got a brother. We're trying to help. You, you're on mute, Miles. Yeah, nah, nah. Oh. You, you, you say I don't approve that message, nigga. I'm the spokesperson. Yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm, no I'm, I'm, I'm mean that when you said earlier about do not want to call up and shit. That's what I mean. Hey, hey, oh, yeah, right. Miles, Miles. <laughs> now listen, caller. I want you. Uh, Miles will be Miles will be you. I'll be the chick and follow the playbook. Okay. All you gotta do is follow the playbook. Okay. You there, caller? I'll be the chick. Miles will be you. Okay. Yeah. And listen what Uncle Miles says and watch how easy it is. All right. Here we go. Go ahead, Miles. Right. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Hello. Hi. Uh, how hey, are hi. you? How, how you doing? This is. This is. Uh. Uh. This is. John. <laughs> yeah. This is. This is John. How are you? How are John, you? How's it going, John? Oh my God! Can we go to intramural basketball again, like we did before, and hang out? No, no, no. Listen, listen. Here's here's what I need you to do. I need you to bring that pussy over to my apartment <laughs> so I can get out of it. That's what I need you to do tonight. But but John, you you've never spoke to me this way before. Well, well, John, what's well, wrong? Look, look, you, you're talking to a different John tonight, baby. You understand? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to bring that wet pussy over so I can fuck the shit out of it. No well, Netflix, mm -hmm. just straight pounding until you come. Jonathan, oh my, I, I, I don't feel really comfortable with you talking to me that way, Jonathan. <laughs> well, you know, maybe you will feel a little bit more comfortable if you were over here and I was whispering it in your ear. <laughs> Nigga, this is what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> and I, 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 I'm not that man. You're being bad. Look, 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 I'm, look, look, you know what? You know what? Just how long, how long is it going to take you to get over here? Well, well Jonathan, I, I really, I, I just got to throw some clothes on and, but Jonathan, your, your voice is so masculine. <laughs> Okay, listen, listen here, here's what I want you to do. When you get on the road, just text me that you're on your way. <laughs> okay, well, all right, I, I'll do that right now. If, you, if you're telling me what to do, I, I'll follow you. That's it. Hey, I got to give it to my nigga Miles, too. Like, I got to use, hey, text me when you're on your way. <laughs> that's it. That's called, that's called, call it. That's called taking the reins, being decisive, and being assertive. Miles, hold the Oscar up, Miles. Yeah, and yeah, directing yeah. her. Speech. Yeah, so do you yeah. see that, brother? Are you yeah. ready to do it now? Yeah, niggas, you crazy. <laughs> he said I'm getting wet. <laughs> All right. All right, call it, you ready? Go ahead. You got twenty seconds. Go ahead. We gonna be gonna be quiet. Twenty seconds. We gotta go. You ready? You want me to do it? You want me to call her right now? Yes. Yeah. We'll be quiet. Yeah. Right. And call oh, over and put on three way. Uh, call her right now. Oh, get the fuck out! Hey, hey, get it. All right, we try. Get out of here, you damn nigga! Yeah, right, next up. We, hey, can, you guys can't say we didn't do everything we can to put him in a position to fuck. We did it all. Facts. He's after all of that. He's he like, it. nah, I'm not gonna call her. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You, you guys want me to call her right now? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the way it was gonna be is come on over and hang out, and and then she gets over there, you put that chloroform. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what that's what half of these dudes want to do. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> that's the sad part, bro. Jesus oh, Christ. Christ, that's funny. This is this. Hey, we try, guys. You listen to Uncle Miles. Go back and listen to what Miles is saying. You can say it in that that tone, that little goofy ass tone Miles had, but he was manning the fuck up. <laughs> Miles was being direct, and he remember telling her what to do. Mm -hmm. That's facts. Facts. Let's, let's go to five five nine. Five five nine. What's popping? Who this? What's up, man? Uh, this is Rob. Fucking. I was mentioning. Uh, how do you spit game at a bitch? Fucking at a school, like a university, without being like the sexual. Fucking. I don't, I don't you know, even like the question. I don't even like the question. Shit. I talked to a bitch at a at a school. How do you order food at a restaurant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Act like, look, you know, call her. Have like that with sexual violence and all this shit. Like, uh, 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 you know, call her, call her, call her. Hold on, real quick, call her. Y'all act like there is an encyclopedia on how to talk to a chick at a liquor store, how to talk to a chick at a daycare, how to talk to a chick at a grocery store, how to talk to a chick while you're pumping gas. It's like, come on, bro, she's a woman. Just go talk to her. Yeah, 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 but but look, I. I'm I'm getting there. Like I'm I'm saying, like if I go talk to her and she takes anything the wrong way, she's gonna report me to the school. No, wait, 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 fuck it, then, 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 fuck it, don't talk to her at all. Then, fuck wait, it. Yeah, wait, 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 what are you gonna say to the woman? Tell us what you're gonna say to the woman. Call her. Tell us what you're gonna say to the woman. I say like, call her. Just tell us what the fuck you gonna say to the woman. What are you gonna say to her? Yeah. Uh, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? How you doing? My name's Rob, and they say, Oh, hi. My name's whatever, and then I'll be like, uh. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? We should hook up. Uh, uh, all right, there you go. So she should call the police on your fucking ass because you're a creepy, thirsty, weird bitch. That's why she should call the police on your goofy ass. Yo. Goofy uh, ass. How this motherfucking uh, sound? Hi, we should... What are, you, what are you doing this weekend? Yeah, what are you doing this weekend? In my Miles voice. What are you doing <laughs> Move back away from the mic or, yeah. or phone or whatever. Oh, whatever. Kind of like your yeah. Call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. Word, word, word of advice. Word of advice. When you speak to women, use assertive language. You don't ask women what they're doing. You tell women what you're doing and invite them along to what you're doing. So a better way to put instead of what are you doing this weekend, you could just tell her. 
Look, I'm free Friday night. I'm going to give you my number. Why don't you call me tonight and we'll establish um, where we're going to link up at or something to that effect. Just right. let her know what it is. Let her know what you're trying to do. Don't be asking her what she's doing. Because mm. here's the problem with y'all. Y'all be waiting for the woman okay. to tell y'all and, and y'all be going, hold on, hold on. You're, you're, you're following the woman. You're, you know what? You know what to call her? It's, you know what it's like? It's like you taking a chick out on a date instead of you just going where you want to go and taking her along for the ride, you asking her what she like to do. So what do you like to do for fun? Oh, is that what you like to do? Is that one of your hobbies? Okay, we can do that. Stop trying to appease the woman. Just do what it is you're going to do and invite the woman along. You know what? Even before that caller, stop automatically assuming that if you talk to a woman, you're going to go and get in trouble, man. What kind of fuck boy shit is right. that? Exactly. exactly. Crazy. Did, he, did he say he was going to get in trouble? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That, that's never happened to me in my life. I've never gotten arrested or, or questioned by the law. None of that goofy shit. <laughs> so what the fuck is y'all talking about, man? I don't even, I never okay. even asked. Like, her. don't ever ask what they're Club doing on, on Saturday the at 8 p.m. I want, and then she says, why? Because I want to get you naked, get your lips. Okay, and listen to what you're Okay, okay, brother. Listen to what you're saying. You sound like you're going to kill her and <laughs> eat her to possess her fucking soul. Do you hear what the hell you sound? <laughs> Come on, you hang out. And, and <laughs> That's how you sound, man. Why the, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, here we go, here we go. Call her. What is two plus two? It's four, bro. Okay, good. You answer that in one second. Now, please understand this. Every second you don't answer this next question, put negative five. So what is so fucking special about you when she could come over, she could come over and fuck you? That I'm fucking great and then I'm going to fuck the shit out of her and show her something fucking new other than these fucking lame-ass niggas? <laughs> Oh, you guys drive me well, crazy. I, I, I like I like that he answered it quick, though. He answered it quick. I give him that. I give, I give him a C plus that he answered it quick. But bro, why 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 are you why are you thinking that it's going to be an issue when you talk to these women? Because uh, they have like fucking they give a lot of power to the women. So if you say something oh, like who's they who's they who's they who's they or rat, or say some shit because oh, this guy's being fucking sexually, you know, uh, offensive or something like that. And wait, I feel like they'll report. Are you, are you speaking for all women? Wait, I'm who's having trouble with? Well, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Would a woman who's interested in you go do all of that? No, but say you're trying to get her interested, and and then she feels like fucking. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. Interested. What I'm saying is, why are you worried about the woman that's not interested in you? So what I'm saying is, if you see five or six women and you talk to all five or six women, and let's let's say for sake of argument, four four of those women was like that, but two of them wanted to fuck with you. Do you why you care about the other four women? Shit, can you repeat it? My bad. I was next to some fucking cars because some <laughs> fucking people. Bro, I said if you talking to six women and four of them for sake yeah. of argument. Is not feeling you, but two of them are feeling you. Why are you giving a fuck about the four women that's not feeling you? Why are you why are you so focused on the women that's not feeling you? Right. What if you're trying to make them feel you? Why? Why are you trying to make them feel you? Oh my gosh. Why don't you just go to the other two that's feeling you? All right. Fuck, fuck the oh other two that's, that's feeling you. Why don't you just fuck the other two that's feeling you? Caller, there's other two problems here that you need to let us know. I have been called. There's two problems here. Let us know. There's one not feeling you. Callers, either A or B, let us know. Either A, okay, <laughs> you have done this so many times that campus police is looking for you. <laughs> or B, yeah, that you've no, been I'm watching a bunch of red pill content thinking that that's going to happen. It's one or two things. So what is it? Are you watching content to hear? Because that mimicky shit you said about getting in trouble yeah. is red pill. Greg, bro. It's either one or the other. So no, then, I got the bad membership. And I'm trying to be direct, and I'm just trying to make sure that I don't cross the line and get reported. What the I'm fuck you think you do? Hey. Who's who's gonna report you to who? Who are they reporting you to? The yeah. bitch that she feels sexually offended. But who? Uh, uh, who? Well, so hold on. So call, real, hold on real quick. So call. So there, so 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 there's a law. So there's a law against offending people. 
Hold, hold on. So there is a law against offending people? You can go to jail for offending somebody? Is that what you're saying? Sexually offending people? Sexually offending people? No, you can't. No, no, you can't. No, you can't. There is no law for sexually offending nobody. Even if there is a law, then if you know that's a law, then why don't okay. you not do hey, it? Hey, 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 In a derogatory way. Since okay, then, don't be on. derogatory, hold motherfucker. Hold on. God, hold, on. hold on. Okay. Real quick, first of all, the, the guy with this comment, first of all, we know what the fuck he's talking about, but he's not, he, talking to a woman is not harassing her. Do y'all know what the fuck harassing means? Exactly, they don't understand it. They, they don't understand. If, if I go up to a woman and I say, look, the reason why I'm talking to you, because I saw you from across the way, and I said, damn, I saw that ass, <laughs> you know, I'm, I got to do them right there in, the, in Woody Hall. Um, my, my roommate is out. You should come up to, right, with me right now so I can fuck the shit out you. Right. Am I harassing her? No. no. Now, if she told me no, and I continue to grab her, come on, let me fuck you. Come on, let me fuck That's you. Come on. That's harassing. That's exactly. harassment. Exactly. It's after the no. Time, then it's not. But if you keep on pursuing it, then it is. Yes. No, yes. yes. That's harassment. That's, That's what harassment. Is. the definition of harassment. You're harassing them by continuing to talk to them when they don't want to talk to you. You can't yes. harass somebody so, by saying something once. <laughs> is there so you're saying if I say once, she won't go and report me for saying that once. Okay. No, she can go and report you if yeah. she wants, but she can't report you for harassment because you didn't harass her. You didn't harass her. You just asked her for what you wanted. She'll just say you're probably creepy or loser and walk off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah the, they would, the police come and ask you. I was like, yeah, man, I just, I basically went up to her and told her what I wanted, and she said no, and I walked away. That's it. And nine times okay. out of ten, hold on, let me hold on, let me let me no, say something. Hold, no, on, look, hold, look, on, hold 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 on. See, to see, see exactly, bullshit. exactly. You, know you kept saying? hearing shit. This is y'all got to stop listening to what other motherfuckers is telling you. That I don't know what the fuck they talking about. You got you know what's the funny part about all this? This is a very like narcissistic type of thought process. You really think a woman you tried to holler at, right? who's not interested in you is going to take time out of her day to go and run to find somebody <laughs> to come back to get you to where you're like, she's like, you know what? Stay, stay right, yeah. right here. Stay right Hell here. I'm going to go get me right somebody. Right. Then I'm going to bring him back here to you so that he, they're not going to do that. Yeah. Why would she do that? Hell yeah, they would. Why? Cause they're bitches like that. They like no, no, no. Cause, uh, cause why? Cause you're, why? Cause time. you're, hold on. Why? Cause you're that important. That she's gonna, she's gonna take time out of her life. She just feels like she's good because she's corrupted, bro. Right? You, you, corrupted, you, corrupted you, by you, who? How do you know this? Who told you this? By the people, by the people they got grown up with. Yes, sometimes How they do you know. Sometimes they've been you know? like to fucking do bro, that bro, shit. bro, yes, bro, bro, bro. Let me ask you a question. I'm gonna need you to be extremely honest with me. I need you to be 100 percent honest. Okay. Did you okay. take? Did you take the red pill? You do good. It swallowed that bitch. No. Yes, <laughs> it sounds no, like I, you and I, I signed up for your program and I'm trying to learn that shit right. OK, so this is what I'm trying to tell you. You got to get out there because where did you get this idea? Who would you get this idea that if you approach a girl and talk to her that you're going to get arrested or go to jail for harassment by just having a conversation with a woman who told you that? Or not, or not arrested or jail, but kicked out of school. I'm not trying to get kicked out of school. My brother. At school, be careful what you do, though. That's what he told me. I'm just trying to be be cautious. Call her, call her, call her. Do you do, 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 do you do you understand? Call her. No. Do you do you understand that there are women in droves and the thousands fucking on campus every day? Do hey, call, right? Yeah. Hey, do you understand that right now there are freshman girls mm. that are legal that have no more mommy and daddy over them. They have sexual freedom where they can eat pussy. They can fuck, do drugs and drink, party, and do whatever they want to do. The land, the land of the threesome. Is the that land of the threesomes. They looking to do that stuff. But here's your problem. Yeah, I'm trying your, to do all that. But Calder, your problem is the reason you're going to fail is because your mindset already says you're a fucking failure. So anything that comes out of your failing fucking ass is going to be perceived as fucking creepy. So if I was you, just get back in your dorm and shut your ass up and read books and let the real men do the fucking. No, I ain't going to do that shit, bro. I'm going to go over there and keep fucking trying. Well, see, you got to get out that mindset no of failure, thinking man. that you're going to you're get arrested. You're saying just go out there and do it, but fucking be cautious and don't fucking... 
uh, keep pursuing it. The one time if she's not feeling it, then don't fucking pursue it. That's what you're Why saying, you right? Do it? Right. That's what I'm saying. Why would you keep this? What I'm saying. If you let a girl know directly you want to have sex with her, and she's like, no, and she's walking away, and she ain't trying to talk to you. Why would you keep going? Why don't yeah. you just go with another girl? What, what, if, what if she says no and stays there? Why your, you your, your bro, your dinner? bro, your bro got you living in the what if? Yeah, right. and, and yeah. that's what happened. Your bro, your bro was the creep. He was the one got her cooked on harassment at the college, and he told you to be careful. <laughs> that's that's exactly. what happened because anybody that complains about women like this, they had yeah. they are like punch drunk boxers. <laughs> they, they, they they they've been rejected so much. All women are like this. All women are like that. I'm telling you, man, that's what happened. Yeah, man, you ain't ready, dog. No, you ain't ready for that, dog. You ain't ready for this game, no. You, you don't know what you're doing. And and doing like how the bad boy membership is saying, you know what I'm saying? At school and shit, always just trying to be as cautious so I don't get in trouble and get kicked well, out. You're, okay, you're try, okay. You're trying to be strike one. You're trying to be strike one, and then you're automatically assuming something you know nothing about. You're generalizing shit. See, the problem uh, is you harass because I think what he's saying is, is after he says that shit, he wants to keep pushing it. Right, That's right. Funny. So you're harassing women. So what I would tell you're harassing creepy ass is to leave these fucking women alone. Because if you keep doing the shit you're doing, I hope they lock your ass up. Because oh. like you need to be off the street, man. Oh, shit. Hey, and I got a I got a 19-year-old son that's on a, on a college campus. I got a 19 year old son on a college campus right now. He's having no problems at all. Smack I actually got to slow him down right now. <laughs> okay. I, but okay. so. But so bro, what I'm saying to you is, is that his mindset is not getting locked up or or or, or somebody going to book him for harassment. His exactly. mindset is, let me get in her ear real quick to uh, let her know what it is so we can get busy. Listen, let me tell you, let me tell you something, bro. I've been talking okay. to chicks since I was like damn near 15, 16, hollering at girls and all. I've never not one time had a chick call cops on me or cops come to me talking about, oh, you said this to this woman and she came here. Never. Exactly. Like, never. I've never had that happen. Either. Let me ask you a question, caller. How many okay. times how many times Please has a, how, hold on? How many times has a woman called the cops on you for talking to her? None. So then what are we talking about then? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I'll, no, I was trying to prevent it because he's all be careful because it might happen. You're, Fuck your brother, and they're gonna fucking report you. Yeah. And shit. Your brother, dog. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I played. I played. I I role play. Stop thinking like that. Stop thinking like that, dumbass shit, and just go do you and fucking talk to them. And if they're not interested, then back up and then fucking go to the next one. That's what you're yeah. saying. I was 13 talking to grown ass women because I was trying to talk to them, dog. I mean, what, what, what's the problem? I, I've here? role played harassment situations before. Oh yeah, they love that, dog. They <laughs> I love I love to just roll up on them and just and just grip them. We've done that. Drop them off in the corner, walk up to them. They like that. Right. That's what I'm saying. That, that's the dog. Do you know once you get her, you can have her wear a little skirt and, and meet her in college and do a role play mm. uh, that, you know, what you could be the professor and you say, you know, what you you got to we got to get you over to make some A's. Uh, I need you to bring your grade up. You need to come to my place and we need to yeah. find a way to get your grade up. I mean, that, I mean, that's the kind of shit they like. Right? They like that. They love that shit. They like you, to be dominated. Oh, they love that. Hey, look, look, remember, ask for what you want. But if she doesn't want to give you what you want, move the fuck on. That's right. it. And I used to always like the ones who rejected me. I used to love to just just pound their friends out. Just, just oh I yeah, I used to love to just <laughs> like they friends. I get their friends. <laughs> oh, and, and they used to tell their friends, "Girl, you messed up on this one. <laughs> you messed up on this one. I'm deep stroking that one." Oh. I'm just like I just think I it's funny that, that that game, man, uh, Mr. 1950, and all you, all you guys, because right, man, man. Well, what I'm trying to do is help me out, uh, help help myself out, because I'm not trying to get in trouble. You see what I'm saying? Your and tell you stop talking. To you. Yeah, stop that, being paranoid, bro. That. Stop being paranoid. You'll be all right. My buddy. <laughs> <laughs> man, we, talking to you. We appreciate the call, my dude, and just stop uh, being paranoid. You'll be good. He, 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 let me tell you something. He's not even paranoid. That nigga just afraid to approach bitch. He's just afraid, bro. He's just afraid, man. Like well, he, dudes, dudes be looking for ops. They look for obstacles. That's how bad it's gotten. Yeah. Where it's not even that they doing shit, and then the obstacles show themselves, and then they're like, "Man, how do I get around this obstacle?" Dudes are already looking for obstacles before they even get there because mm. they 
scared of they either scared of success or they scared of failure. But if you're scared, you're gonna be stagnant. You understand? And right. that's a, that's it right there. I'm just trying to figure out how you on a college campus with thousands of uh, oh chicks. man, and thousands they, of chicks. And you, 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 you supposed to be like, man, I'm fucking every day of the week. I oh, know, when I was when I was 16, oh. I it was a JC like down the street from my from my high school. Bro. I used to walk on Ooh. campus in the Ooh. evening time. Like I had night classes mm. trying to rap with the chicks. Mm -hmm. You know what hey. I mean? And they're easy. They're not easy. Bro, it's, it's crazy. In college, it's oh. like everywhere you turn is a woman. It's like most, like I went to Hunter College. It was like 75% women in there. You understand what I'm saying? 25% dudes. And I'm just like, yo, it's, it's like, like, like I'm in heaven. You know what I'm saying? I'm in heaven. But they, they, they're looking for experience. They want to experience more than that uh, high school scared uh, anxiety and what are you doing and what are you up to? They want to get their knees pushed back to their shoulders and fucked. Right. I still knows what he's doing. All right, guys, listen. Um, I got to get out of here because I'm trying to you know what you got to do. You, you already know. So it is what it is. Uh, right. no, we're about to wrap it up anyway. So this is about to be right now. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm out of here. All right. Miles, Miles. Miles. See you next Sunday. Yeah. All right. All right. yeah, so we got the other calls left with Cario. Ah, we're good. We're good. All right. So uh, let's go. I guess we round robin this and do this, man, and uh do our final thoughts on this and everything like that. But you know what? Before we do this, we want to say thank you to Erin because she's so intrigued by what we say. She's mm. still ain't let go. We appreciate you, girl. Right, right. <laughs> but that's facts. Now, nah, just the uh, last thing I say, man, is that uh, guys, you just got to understand that it's a choice. You make a choice whether or not you want to be that guy or the other guy. You understand what I'm saying? And that's really what it is when it comes to the game. So, yeah, I just right. want to say real quick at the at the end of the day, gentlemen, what we're saying to you is we're not telling you to batter, harm, or disrespect a woman. It is okay to ask for what you want as long as you're gonna stand on what you want. But you do have to understand that if you don't have game and you're asking for what you want, you're going to come off creepy because women have met you before. So just remember that we don't want to shame you, but also please do not force yourself on women. And if you're going to have sex, please make it safe sex. Mm. Well, I, I, I definitely going to say, you know, to all you men out there, that heard that caller before this caller, that is a prime example of a man just scared to be men. Like we are hunters, we hunt. And he, he did not want no part of that. Don't be that guy. Mm -hmm. Be a guy who's going to be assertive and get in the game and play it. Mm -hmm. You cannot win if you don't play the game. Ooh. Hey, hey, straight up, man. This is Mr. 1950, Mr1950.com. I am the last traditional man on the planet. If you want to live a traditional lifestyle, hit me up. I will yeah, yeah. show you. I will show you how to make sure she's making that meatloaf around this time instead of instead of <laughs> running up in this YouTube uh at, at, at five o'clock in the evening. But man, hey, much respect, Lucario. By the way, Lucario, man, great stream you and Miles had mm -hmm. um the other day when uh, it, that was yesterday, I think, when you guys was talking about uh, uh, um, your game is weak if, if you only get sex from. Oh it. yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's a dope. That, hey, y'all need to y'all need to go check that stream out, bro. That was a dope stream. They bro. don't even understand that. I think we have to go back to the car after after Zag. But go ahead, Zag. We got hey, bro, you, bro, Zag. Um, I just want guys to know. I don't think guys really understand this. Do y'all know we all gonna die? Right. Ain't no video game. <laughs> this, that's it. We got you. Got one life, mm -hmm. and for all you dudes in your twenties, you got one chance to be young in your twenties. OK, for you, you ain't got no kids. You ain't got no obligation other than to yourself. Why y'all fucking around wasting your life being scared? Mm. OK, fear is for the weak. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. Fear is for the weak. That's, now, there's a such thing as being cautious. And there's, and there's another thing that's fear. These niggas, all these motherfuckers that call, all of them are afraid. Yes. Mm. yes. All of them. They fear shit. OK, you can't get nothing done in life if you're afraid, man. Mm -hmm. oh, real. Now, real, real quick. The cario. Let's just I mean real quick, just just a brief, let's cover this real quick. Because if these young men were thinking about what you you and Miles talked about, mm. they would really get pussy because at that point, 
it wouldn't be about the sex. It'll exactly. be about what you get. Now, talk about that real quick, Lacar, because right. if they need to talk about that real quick. Right, now, because, and I got that off of that show we was on, I was, <laughs> we was on the other day with those guys, where the dude was like, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just pumping and dumping and blah, blah, blah. And also, but the thing I was saying is that a lot of times when guys think about, oh, I'm just trying to get the pussy, the pussy is the easiest thing to get. That's like, that's like super low level regular shit. And then, so if that's all you're getting out of a woman, that means that your game is weak because all you're getting is the easiest thing to get, the, the, the most basic thing to get. And so what you really want is that you really want a woman to be about you overall, to be like, yo, I actually want to be in this man's life. I want to do things for him. I want to be a part of something. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's when you really know your game is tight, when you're able to not only get girls who want that, but also want to continue to be with you like that and mm-hmm. also to, you know, for you to be able to maintain that situation. You see what I mean? So it's, it's real shit. So much more I have to say. They, if, if these young men just understood, pussy comes with the woman. There's so much more. Yeah, but also, too, I, I'm so sick of, man, real quick before we get about here. I'm so sick of acting like you won just because you hit the pussy. That's an even exchange. They want that mm-hmm. also. So for you to act like you're you're doing something or winning because you hit, she's she's feeling the same way about you. It's an even exchange. You're if like she said, like Lucario said, if if she's investing in you, she's giving you shit. She's doing shit for you. That's mm-hmm. when you know you got her. All right. All oh, right. Yeah. Next show, are we doing that at two? Oh no, at what twelve? Is is that changed? Uh wait, that's uh not this Sunday. It's not this, it's no it's two Sundays from now, right? Fifty. Oh. Yeah, two, two, not next 12. Sunday's body. Yeah, so it don't start to the 12. So, the 12. 12. Okay, so next week we're doing um, ne- so next week on the fifth, we're still doing at 6 p.m. It's still doing at six, and then oh. the following week. Oh, okay. We're doing that at the, on the 12th. Is that at yeah, the 12th? 12. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So hey guys, we out this thing. We'll see y'all next Sunday, same time until we let y'all know when the time changes. All right. Mm-hmm. Stop so, being scary out there, man. Stop yeah, being hey, scary. Hey, 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 Aaron, 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 Aaron. You want to know when the next show is. Look, you see what I'm yeah. see, y'all, y'all don't understand. Hold on. This is game right here. Hey, Aaron, <laughs> Silverback Lifestyle <laughs> is my IG. Yeah. Hey, look, Aaron, we ain't knocking you on this one. We just want to show guys. She came in here one way, but after it's all said and done, he wants to know when the episode is and see why. <laughs> This is game. This is game. He is begging for structure. Yeah. Begging. No. Yeah. Exactly. Respect to you, Aaron. We, hey, Aaron, we got, I respect what you're saying because it shows the guys that, look, we was never being mean with her. We were just keeping it real. And you know what? She's intrigued by what the fuck is going on. Yeah. You know, hey, entertaining. Look, hey, look. When you play with that pussy tonight, watching the show, just just make sure you email us and let us know which one of us you masturbating to, because you're gonna go back <laughs> and play this motherfucker. All right, so we out this bitch, man. We'll see y'all next Sunday, guys. Peace. Peace.